Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to Midlenia itself. The game by C Prompt Games, published by Paradox, which was rushed out, misses many things, looks horrible, has no multiplayer, has barely any customization. But at its core, in its gameplay, in its ideas, in its uh, mechanics, is actually pretty good and I had a lot of fun playing it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Millennia. We're doing another slop stream. We're back. As promised, as promised, I did say I would return and on Sunday I said I would do this stream. Hello, everyone. Got the game open here. We're, we're going to have our customary longer intro, but then we'll get into it. Hello. How's everyone doing in the chat? Morris, Half Naf, Hare Krishna, that guy, C3, Edgy, Ghost, Brady, FPS, Voltage, Jean, Connor, everyone in the chat. Hello. Doing okay. Got promoted today. Oh, well, you know. Memberships and Super Chats are available. Here's all the here's all the chat for the VOD viewers. The VOD viewers can see who I'm actually talking to now. So it was like a week ago, I think, that I played this last. And let me get the in-game music on so I don't have to have a third-party window with music. I had it about here. Seven. Seven will do. Alright. But yeah, congratulations, Morris. Now, yeah, we have a bit of history with this game, as I've said before. Pie Chucker and I reacted to its announcement way back months ago. Then I played the demo, and then I played it on its launch day, which was... I can't remember the exa exact day. Last week or the week before. I think it was maybe exactly a week ago. Tuesday or Wednesday last week, or Monday. Something like that. So in the last playthrough, I went in as I created a custom nation. Uh, I created the custom country of Scotland. I think is it still here? Have I lost my custom nation already? Where's Scotland? My, my, my custom nation has disappeared. Okay, the Scotland I created, but the Albion Confederation is still there. <laughs> that, that's strange. Right, let's lower the chat a bit. Yeah. Lower the size of the chat. Scotland's gone. Scotland's fucking gone. But anyway, I played as them. Look, the customization of nations in this game is non-existent. I don't want to drive that point home to death, though. Uh, it is what it is. There could be a lot more of that if the game wasn't rushed out. Oh, there it is. There's Scotland. It's because they were already on the map. Oh. I'll leave Scotland exist. I'm thinking I'll play the Albion Confederation this time, maybe. Just, why not? It seems a bit fun. Um, so... Yeah, I played Scotland. It turns out I did terribly. I got killed by the AI. Then I played another game as a custom nation, Bavaria, which was quite fun. It did better that time. But we still got bogged down in a war against the AI, because the AI in this game is bloody aggressive. They will just death war you constantly, which is a problem. And it's also it also highlights the fact that, unlike Civ, this game just doesn't have any settings for the AI, really, other than difficulty. Just raw difficulty, which probably just gives them buffs and, and stuff like that anyway. So, yeah, the AI is just aggressive. We'll, we'll have to think about how we deal with that. Obviously, we'll have to have a big army. But in this game, I'll play as the Albions and we can custom name our cities and towns after them. But I want to go further with this playthrough. I want this to be a more successful one. I want to get to the late game. You know, I want to see if that can happen. I want to explore, because you get all sorts of robot stuff in the late game, I think, but we've never come close to making it there. Feels like, even after playing the game on launch, I've only ever made it as far as I made in the demo, which was like just Iron Age or something. Save, but without any player input on the world or its appearance whatsoever. That's right, mate. I mean, there's no customization to the maps or rules or anything. You have basic stuff. 
Very basic, continents, islands, inland seas, Pangaea. Albion's feels like a tall nation. Well, I don't know. Belgian Confederacy, we'll do that another time. I feel like just going to Albion's for some reason. Um, Bavaria will also exist. Look, I, my other custom nation of Bavaria, which just takes, what, the German flag? Because the flags are so limited. So, as I tend to do before we actually get into the game, let's just take a little swipe at the review score, see how that's been doing. So, if you remember on launch day when we played, it started off horribly on the reviews. Got slated way down to mostly negative to begin with. But, and I think, in hindsight, rightly so, it increased. As people gave the game more of a chance, looked past its visuals and saw the mechanics, people gave it more positive reviews and it climbed up. It's now at 65%. Which, uh, wait, hold on. Just to compare that. It is, oh, Victoria 3 is up to 67. This game is almost at Victoria 3. 60, 65. Uh, but that's all I wanted to look at Vic 3 for. Forget that, forget that. Um, so it's climbed up. I think this review score that it has is probably fair. In terms of the game itself, the price is a lot. The price is a lot. Uh, and it suffers a lot. It misses multiplayer. We've, we talked about the whole multiplayer thing before, right? We, I don't want to drive... I don't want to beat a dead horse, but... Launching with its weird, non-existent multiplayer system is bad. Really bad. Because this game could actually do really well in multiplayer. I think multiplayer this would be very fun. And when they ever actually add it to the game... I'm down to play multiplayer of this, really. I'm, seriously, I'm, I'm. I'm looking. I'm kind of. I would look forward to. Oh my god, look! Look what we're missing out on. Look, look what happens when we get to the late game. Maybe we can make fucking spider bots. I want some of that. I want to make it to the late game if the AI doesn't murder me before then. That's actually the coolest thing I've fucking seen in that battle window. That's for sure. <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of cool things in that battle window, but that's one, right? Maybe, I think that's the Japanese flag. Uh, if you're asking, and that's the Chinese flag, but I've co-opted the Chinese stars to be the Albians. Which flag would that be? It's Japan, isn't it? Or is that meant to be Greece? I think it's Greece. Japan is just the thingy. I'm getting confused. I would, I would have said it was Japan because that symbol exists as a symbol of Japan and like fucking one of their flags when they become a certain ideology in DOD or something. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's not much more to say here. This is the this is the, just the sort of background in the intro. Of course, part of the intro will be everyone. It's the e-begging obligatory show. Please drop a super chat to support the channel. Ask a question or anything you want. This is a single player stream, so I will respond to super chats in full at the time they're given and thank them. Player count check. Oh yes. Okay. Hold on a sec. Good. Good call. Good call. This probably won't be good. Uh, right. Yeah, so I mean, look, it's pretty much expected. It has, it started at 8K, dropped down by about half. By just, just under half. Uh, thank you, Morris, so much for the five euro super chat. You will pre-order the Paradox game. You will take the Paradox sponsorship. You will eat the slop. That's what's happening as well. Um, now, you, you're all going yikes in the chat, and you're all going damn. But is just about just over fifty percent actually a bad drop off per capita? No, not really. Um, if you actually compare it to the baseline it started at 8k, going down to 3,600 isn't actually that bad. What's it like compared to Vic3? Well, Vic3 is hovering at about 9 or 10k. So it's not that far behind Victoria 3 in real terms. But Victoria 3, for example, and many other games that flopped, had a, it's about the percentage of players that it loses on its drop off at launch, right? So games like, I think Victoria 3 had like, what, 60, 70% drop off at launch to the immediate like month after or something. 
This isn't as bad as that. How does it compare to Civ 6 at launch? Uh, Alright, we go back to the launch of this. Uh, started on 162k, dropped down to 44k, right? That is a worse drop-off by percentage-wise. Uh, right? You get it? That's like a 20% Oh no, it's not. Let me do the math. Let me do the math. It's a, uh, oh, like 80, 60% drop. One, something in there, right? I'm not doing the math. It's a, a bigger percentage of its players were lost. But I, I don't want to get bogged down in comparing to loads of different player accounts. That's not what the stream really is. I'm here to play it. Okay. There is something else I wanted to show you, though. You can see the tab. One thing I'm going to do, though, is I need to put sound alerts for... Super Chats and Membership back on, because I have them off for the Vic 2 streams. If you will just give me a moment to do that, I'll give... I'm sorry, Morris. You can... Re, you, I'll refund the Super Chat, if you want. Although I, I don't think I have it on Portuguese anyway, even when, when I do have the text-to-speech on. All right, super chat um, sounds are back on. Membership sounds are back on. Just doing that behind the scenes. Right, I just wanted to show you one more thing. So Big Weevil sent me this game, which was free to play or free to download and activate on your Steam account. I don't know if it still is. It's like they did a thing where they made it free for the first 24 hours or something. Uh, thank you so much, Docker QTA, for the 400 half, which is probably like £2. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, this game is like the next co op horror game. First game, by the way, guys. Uh, say hi in the comments. Think something scary to get on, to get on film for you. It's like the new, uh, the new Lethal Company Flavor of the Month co-op horror game. Big Weevil showed me. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe I'll play it. It actually looks fun. Looks like a slightly different version of Lethal Company sort of thing. Keep running, keep running. Don't look back. Don't look back. Okay. Okay. We gotta move. We gotta move. Welcome back to another video. Here we go. Do I do? Do I do? The premise is that it's uh, you take a video camera, go into an old derelict ship or something and try to film horror things happening. The pre premise is that you're a content creator, so it's a bit uh, referential or meta to that or something. So I'm, I might play that. I might play that with uh, Weevil, with Pie Chucker, maybe. Sort of like Lethal Company. And by the way, I do want to actually go back to Lethal Company when its next update happens. I do still want to play that again. Okay, now let's just... All right, I'm playing the Elbian Confederation. Okay, we have to choose our bonus. That's the last thing. Can you see all the bonuses? Lethal Company did drop off, didn't it? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it really dropped off or not. It was just a... It was a, a flavor of the month, a fad, but I have been waiting for the next update to drop. I mean... The developer didn't do anything wrong for it to drop off. I mean, it came out and then the developer did a really good update like a month or two later. But um, it does need a new update and it hasn't come out yet. I'm waiting for that new update. Go with innovation. Always research heavy and sieve for me. Well, that would be a simple, easy bonus. Uh, what else can we do? So there's different types of bonuses, right? You can either get a bonus at the start. The the innovation bonus actually just gives you a raw innovation start, right? It doesn't help you later on in the game. It's just an early boost. But if you get another, like, a regional boost or a homeland boost or a discount, these last you the whole game, so... I mean, a starting scout is off, is always very good as well. That is a very good bonus to start with. Something defensive for RP bonuses. Get a hug box modifier. Save games are all about snowball pick early game boost. If I start with a scout, 
I'm missing out on all sorts of stats here if I start with a scout, but look, the scouts are a very good thing in the early game. Because I can go around and collect more villages. What will be the most fitting LARPy modifier for the Albions? Uh, I don't know. Nothing. It's a random. Oh, well, I like. I kind of like that. Now, I'm, I'm feeling starting with a scout, uh, you know. I'm going to give all the AI random bonuses. How about that? Including Scotland. I really like the idea of a scout because you get big early game bonuses from discovering villages. You can get money, you can get innovation, and you can discover the uh, the wonders of the world. So I've decided that I'm going for that with minimal chat input. Okay, deal with it. Right, I'm starting the game. Slot time! Are you hyped for the slot chat? Every time we start a millennia game, it's time for the hype in the chat for the upcoming slot fest. Let's fucking go. If you're a channel member, get some giga chads in there or something, boys. Let's go. Stuttgart? No. No, 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 no. Our capital is well and truly Prague. Right here in the Albion Confederation. Here's my starting scout, which has joined itself onto my warband. I'm going to send the warband independently in this direction. So it looks like we have a pretty good starting spot. We actually have two warbands. Mountain Blade warband. We actually—it seems like a good starting spot. Also, I'll move my—I'll move things. Uh, chat can go there. I can go there. Right. Actually, I'll go there because I know more things will drop down there. Ruin nation ruinberg. <laughs> This game looks poor, more depressing than Civ 4. Yeah, well, we all know we all know the situation with this game. It looks bad. It looks bad, but it's actually not bad on the inside when you give the game a chance. Put your face on the unrest icon. Well, what if I'm not selecting a city? Well, I guess we always have to select the city. Uh, I don't know. But uh, look, let's uh, let's just scout forward and hopefully we find some villages. This does seem like a good starting position, doesn't it? Forests are really good. I think, for producing stuff. And we have some resources out here in this direction. Now, since I researched, or since I got a starting scout, I don't need to get the scouting tech, really. Uh, now, which might be the tech that gives me the most lumberyard making stuff, if I can do that in the early game? That's for clay pits. That just gives raw improvement points. Tribal elders does that. Farming. Farm improvement, st a food stockpile, plantation. Uh, what kind of building does get built on flax? What improvement does that take? Anyone know? Clay pits are good, yeah. Farms are good as well. Farms are good for growing the city. The age of soy. You know, maybe people should start modding in custom ages. Defences is just pure war. There's not much of a difference between these. I think farming. Flax is a plantation. I think we already have access to that. I'm just going to go farming. Uh, just as a basic start. We can get farms which will in turn grow the city, hopefully. You also have the olives that this plantation too. This is a 2024 game. Yeah, we, we know. You know. Now I build... This gives influence, which could expand. A town centre gives government XP. That's solid. I think government XP is really good. Government XP just gives you straight up bonuses to everything. Your tribal government, which gives you more stuff. So that's really important. I'll get that. And we end our first turn, and then we continue scouting. I need some villages. Here's one. Fucking fantastic. Plus five production on Prague. That should allow me to further build that building faster. Keep scouting. I want more villages. Is this a, a wonder? A wonder? No. But it's probably a, it's a good place to probably find a city later. Though. And uh, let's go this way. You this way. Barb's first encounter.
Now, we need more villages. Oh, we're cut off here. Uh, no, don't click on the battle. No, 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 not that again. Not this whole thing again. Come this way. Hello, Dariak. It's, uh, it's treating me well. Cheers. Now we... Uh, right down here. The friend in the forest will probably win that. So we got our first culture power, which allows us to build... Allows us to build a, a town. Now, do we do that? What does local reforms do? Regional efficiency. Actually, I think the best thing to do is probably one of these, yeah. Plus one food in the homeland is probably the best thing. Best thing to use that on. I'll build a town next. Close the battle window, we beat some barbs. Uh, now I must say the scouting isn't going well in terms of finding tribal villages. We've barely found any. It's not actually good. Well, we can do that again. We can build a town. Now, what's the best place to build the town, though? I think it would be here. Because towns get adjacency bonuses to improvements, don't they? And I'll be building improvements on the two resources. Yeah, I'm building it there. Oh, and what will the name be? Oh. Oh. Now, do we go for a town near Prague in real life? Or do we just take an Albion famous town uh, city? What do we do with that? What do you think? Maybe we find the funniest also build town outside your boat. Yeah, it's too late, mate. Okay, too late. The back seating is too late. Well, wait, actually, wait, wait, wait. Can I not undo? Where's the undo button? I don't have the undo button, guys. Why is everyone suggesting Regensburg? Mate, that is not in the Albions. Let's go for a small town near Prague. What is the funniest sounding town? Unhost. Now I like unhost because that is like unhosting a game. Um, go with Bohemia Mac, take adjacent province. Could do, but I think I think going in the real the real world for inspiration is nice. We going with unhost, shall we? By the way, I might have a problem with the stream where I've actually set it to a certain amount of latency. I think there might be a delay in the stream between me talking to chat, which is a bit of a mistake. Uh, but I don't think I can change that now. It's pronounced unhost. Yeah, I can tell with the thing, but it is what it is. We're going to call it unhost. It's going to be a bit of delay. That's probably why I've missed a lot of the chat advice. But anyway, there's uh, there's no reverting, there's no undo button for this, so we're going to just go with it. Did you... People are saying Oostberg in the chat. There wasn't actually a place called Oostberg, was there? No villages... got farming now let's get workers was there a town called Jimmy to the northeast of Prague Jimmy no it's a yearny journey yearny yearny Um, now I think or probably best thing to do is 
You know, I think maybe we could go all out into a second scout. I kind of feel that, actually. I need to find these damn villages. Now. Actually, I'll tell you what, I probably should have built a warrior, because we have barbs. Deep forest, you can't move into that. I can't believe we've only found one village. Create a farm, stop backseating me! Okay, I'll do it. Did that barb just suicide and die? I think it did. I can't even build one yet, I don't have the fucking improvement points, alright? Ah, there we go, there's one. Perfect, perfect. I'm waiting for the improvement points, lads. Oh, there was a wonder right next to us. Can I, uh, discover? Tall mountain. XP. Very nice, very nice. I wish I could rename it, though. Next turn. Now we can build our oh, food stockpile. The barb killed itself. We don't even need to build the warrior. How is the unrest doing? We're fine for that so far. Oh no, here come the backseating. Now, nah, listen, mate, I've got you covered. My my basic policy on backseating is this, though, chat, just for the record. Um, I generally don't like it, but uh, I generally ignore it if it is there. But I, when I actually ask a question, I'm fine to have people answer it. That's basically it. If I'm really... If I struggle and I need to help and I'll ask something for the chat, that's fine. But unprompted backseating is a slight uh, pet peeve, I guess. Now, hmm. No worries, Jean. Now, Settler is quite far away in terms of government power. The knowledge boost in this would be good as well. So I'm going to save those government points anyway. And then decide later what I'll get. Just imagine the chat sounds like the human announcer from Warcraft 3. Build more farms! I remember it well. Oh, village. Nice, nice. Oh, no, uh, we're finding them now. We're finding them now, guys. Oh, another one. Oh, yes. Oh, improvement points are knowledge, though. Oh. There's more farms. Streamer do this, streamer do that. Um, <laughs> now, ooh, this is actually a tough choice, isn't it? I mean, I think I actually, no, I, I'm actually coming around to the idea. And I'm going to decide this before the delay in the chat even allows me to re read what people are saying. Because if I get those points, I can build the farm that is so widely requested. So, uh, and also the farm could be built on the flax province and I, I don't know if that would actually be me upgrading the flax or building a farm over it I'll uh, check if I can build a, a plantation or something another time it's almost harvesting season Jean you have your farm you can rest easy now you don't have to request anything else now oof, knowledge or culture this time I'm taking knowledge now this time I'm taking knowledge. And we have another village down here with these guys, don't we? Next time. So, uh, we get. I'm getting defences now because there will be barbs and there will be other countries. Our granary stocks are growing, sire. Oh, I'm just a fucking cameo guy now. Doing every old gaming announcement. Yeah, Krell, I'm having fun now. Yeah, I think I feel this run. This will be my best run. Uh, let's just get a free archer. Um, this one, uh, government XP all the way. That means I can, I'm actually like a, a turn away from a new settler, which is kind of big. And I'm liking this area up here for building a new city. There's a lot of resources. I might go up there. Barbs. I actually should heal that unit. Yeah, this one's going well. Uh, I'm feeling it this time. 
I'm feeling this one. This is the this is the run. This is the run. Still even looking for even more villages. Okay. Yeah, that's where I want to expand my city, but there is a barb problem right next to it. And I need to heal those units, actually. Oh! Spawn settler. Spawn settler. But you can't really build there. I'm maybe maybe down here is actually a good place. Because uh, that place is infested with barbarians right now. By the way, where was the archer that I should have spawned? Ah, it joined onto an army. Uh, it joined a scout army. Yeah. And of course, I'm going to run with the existing policy of. Have you been watching Shogun's Bud? No, not yet. I haven't gotten around to that yet. I actually, I will name army stacks after super chatters or member joiners. You don't really need to see the mini map, right? Or maybe down here is what you don't need to see. Maybe the chat there. Behind where the undo button should be. You'll want space for your main city to get really big late game. Yeah, yeah, I kind of am aware that that does eventually happen. So yeah, I'll try and get far away. Honestly, this place up here is the absolute best. I think I'm going to try and go for it. I'm going to try and secure that area and build the city there. It would be really good. So I'm going to bring my war bands back over. Um, can I raise this army now with culture? Yeah. I think we're all out of sync, aren't we? Hull, thank you for joining the channel membership. I'll name my biggest stack after you. This new war band in the settler stack, I think. How about that? Oh, the army of Hull, but if you have a specific request, then I will take that. This one, I'll keep scouting. You people back over here. Oh, look what we have here. That is a barbarian line. So I should be able to advance to the Age of Bronze now. The Bronze Age, LeBron James. So yeah. Oh, the uh, barbarians. Don't click on the battles. The barbarians are here. I'm actually detaching this settler from the army. Uh, the barbs suicided into this stack here, I think. Here's Agen. Starting, a starting area seems surprisingly clear for a change. I don't know if it's clear of barbs. There's a lot of barbs up in the vicinity. I think overall though, it's a really good starting area in general. Now I can build a plantation on the, the flax, so I'll do that. Now can I see if this, uh, yeah. The town is getting adjacency bonus from its buildings and stuff, so that's good. Rag has grown to a population of two, which is also good news. We're producing just basic resources so far, but we will improve that as the game goes on. That's a barb camp there. Let's try and take it down. I've seen other nations start eight hexes away from me before. Actually, yeah, that's true. In the previous runs, the enemies, other other civilizations started really close, yeah. They definitely did. 
I should be able to one-shot this. I, I guess... I guess it's a custom on my Millennia streams that I should actually watch a full battle on the battle window for the hype. Right, everyone hype? Whoa! Let's watch it unfold. Oh no, I accidentally went right through it. Oh, I'll do the next one, sorry. Uh, oh, a new wonder as well. We're getting lots of good shit. Uh, I think there's a civilization there. So there is one to our north, but it's very far away. So I'm really rushing through this, am I not? I mean, Jesus, it's like a, this is like an ADHD stream. Low attention span stream or something like that. So, what to build next? Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I think the best thing I can do is get more improvement points. That's what I need. Uh, and also, I'll use some government to get more improvement points. That sounds very good. Right, we're good. Everything's going well. We'll be able to settle a city around here soon. Apparently the next DLC will have you start as a nomad and let you pick the starting area with exploration, which should have been a thing from the start. Well, there's a lot of things that should have been in this game from the start, but weren't. So, where do we think is actually the best spot to make the city? I actually probably should make it around here. Or here somewhere, so that it is as far away from my capital as possible to give everything more space, you know? Uh, Agin? Is this hostile to me? Let's watch this battle unfold. Watch my archers and my scout try and take on an enemy city. A uh, barbarian encampment. Maybe we can kill the guards at least. No, that's the end. That's the end. Were you hyped for that battle? Everyone's just speechless in the chat. It's Scotland. Yeah, of course it's Scotland. One shot again, good. Ah, uh, we got more down here. The confluence of the rivers to the south. Well, those are too close to my capital. It needs to be built around here or something. Maybe this actual forest tile. Am I, if I'm allowed to build it on a forest, then I think that is actually a good tile. But I'll give it some time in case anyone has a suggestion for that. Also, stuff I should do, I need to build more leader units or stacks. Been failing to do that. Perhaps I should build a hunting tile. I, sh I should actually build a hunter camp over the deer. That will give my village another adjacency bonus and I'll be able to get meat for the city. Hopefully even uh, growing it even faster. Is this me? Or did a, did a civilization? No, oh, the Aztecs. It's always the Aztecs. They got the Bronze James first. Thousands of marketing for this, by the way. Yes, that guy. This game had massive marketing, as we all know. It was not... This game, while it's good and all, I kind of like it, isn't worth the marketing power that was given. Uh, here we go, though. That's the city. And it should be named... What's another big important city of the Elbian Confederation? The big, the capital of Moravia. Raditz Kralove or something like that. I should open up Victoria too and have a bloody look at the map. Brune? No, ah, that's too German. Brno. Ah, yes, it should be Brno actually, yeah. That's it. That's basically the capital of Moravia, isn't it? The Saxony city. We'll do a Saxon one next. A Saxon city if I do build another city. Uh, 
Now, I don't think there'll be any spare villages to scout up near where the Scots are. Are you sure you can't rename the tall mountain? No, I can't. There is no mechanic. There's no way of doing it. Now I can clear up those barbs. Oh, by the way, everyone. By the way. Bavaria Part 22 is coming on Friday. I hope you all realise that. Um, that's fine with government points. We're fine with government points. We've nearly researched the Bron James. Well, these people can keep scouting up this way. Actually, no, we should go south and look for the barb camp that's probably down there somewhere. And you keep healing. Yeah, going well. Go, going very well so far. Going very well. Uh, how many government points does it take to integrate this when it's done? I don't know. Here's the thing, right? Um, when you find a new city, it starts as a so-called vassal. And then you integrate it over a lot of turns. Now that's annoying because you can't build any improvements inside vassals. So you're just kind of wasting all these resources. And you can't do anything with the city really. Also, as you can see, we just gain loads of roads by upgrading to the Bronze Age. I can't even remember. What kind of... What city text, uh, texture pack do we even have for this? I don't know. Which one did we set? I can't remember. Oh yeah, there's a lot of barbs to the south through the forest of Brno. Hello, Sharon. Yeah, there's a lot of barbs. There's a lot of barbs. Now, here's the question. I think the most important thing would be something to do with woodcutting, if there's such a thing. Stone cutter, mine, spawns a pioneer, quarry. Shipbuilding is building ships. Officials is um, markets, claiming territory, spawning envoys. Discipline is war. Community is actually, I think community gives you a lot of good internal things to build. I'll go for that first. It gives you, it gives you access to the wood stuff. Now look at this, right? Look at this. Only, there's only two national spirits left that give me a bonus. Mound builders or Olympians. Now, I think, I mean, mound builders is probably good anyway. Because you get a lot of bonuses to, you can build farms, you can get some sanitation. I think I would go with this anyway. All the other ones, is it just me or is this because all of the other ones have been taken? Because normally they all start with a set bonus you can get. Bonus 35 engineering mana. But, I, I mean, I'm going to get mound builders. Obviously, because I get a bonus. It would be a waste to get anything else. But I will wait to see if chat says anything. L Olympians is an option to get diplomatic mana. What do you get from that? You can host the Olympic Games, you can build a building. Envoys. Eh. Mound Builder is best. These are the actual players of the game in the chat, by the way. These are the experts I'm talking to right now. And I'm getting solicited backseat advice from them. Well, Harry loves himself a good mound, so that solidified the choice. Um, burial mound, sure. It's an improvement that generates culture. Can't build it yet, though. If I did build it, then there it is. You get two culture. That's probably quite good. Probably quite good.
public improvements all also happening now this is just a straight up 10 improvement points I'm actually going to get that. I think the improvement points will be very good. I could build the burial mound now. But did I already build a farm? Yeah, there's a farm there. Um, pastures. Ah, no, no, yeah, forester. I think I build a forester. And if I build it next to the town, that gives me another adjacency bonus. So I'm going for that. Yeah, that's probably a good call on my part. Now let's take on the barbs. Let's fucking fight them. Let's go for it. Oh, that's a village there. That would be very good. That would be very good. Twenty government XP. But no, we're still about five turns away from potential upgrade. Um, plus one knowledge or... Hey, Freddy. Plus one knowledge or wait for the reformed tribalism. I'll let the chat update on that. So, Kreld is saying that the type of spirit you choose is really determined on the terrain you start with. And mound builders are good for planes. So everyone in chat is saying knowledge. Freld says knowledge is good as well, and he's a, an expert millennia player. So yeah, I'll get that. Yeah, this is the game. This is this is going to be the one. This is the one where we finally do it. You know, this is it. Let's start hitting some barbs. Wow, that's a legendary fucking unit, then, isn't it? Oh, that's that's a fucking warlord. That's a warlord, mate. It's so over. Uh, these people aren't healing. You uh, defend that. We found Cordoba. Oh, we got a barb at the capital, but I can actually spawn volunteers. Which I will do. I want to defend my land from that. Wouldn't call myself an expert, I'm just experienced and love raving about strategies. Well, look, for this game, that counts as an expert. Right? Because the game is basically still quite new and a bit still niche. Still quite niche, even though it's uh, got in such a big marketing campaign. Now, actually, all I'm building in Prague is still the improvement tile thing, so I should actually build a building. A work camp would be very good to upgrade engineering and shite. That's a 44 power guy, he's too strong. Mate, I'll take him on. This army here will hold him. We took almost half his health, mate. It's fine. We've got this. Don't you panic. We're going to take him down. Oh my god, is that another high level guy? Yeah, that is another 44 guy. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, the barbs are going mental, actually. The barbs are going fucking mental. They're insane. I probably need uh, I need better armies. I need better armies. I need to build more. Oh shit. We're getting hit hard. Um, we need to fall back to the city. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't mean to move them there. It's fine. Tell you what, this scout is taking them on. Oh, you can't do it. A culture power, though, I think this is the a key moment. We can raise an army. We get a, a warband and an archer, which isn't great, but I'll take it. Build a bigger army there. We can spawn a new warband, but warbands are shit. Oh, Macken's telling me about it. Yeah, I rem yeah, I remember the... Uh, I remember the, the undo button, which is behind the chat. The movement I made wasn't that big a deal, though. 
Right, I got hit hard in the capital, and these barbs are moving in. I have to hit him now. Let's watch this fight unfold. Let's get some hype. Let's go! Smashing with some arrows, smashing with some clubs. Jesus Christ, he took two bar he took two warbands down with a single swing. Can I get some wow in the chat? Well, it was a brutal battle, but we did take his health down a lot. Now, how is this going? There was a battle. This this guy, this guy attacked my capital. Let's see what happened. When this single lone guy attacked my, uh, well, not my capital, but no. How did this go? This barbarian is a giga child, I'll give him that. He went, he bypassed my peasants just to hit the actual warriors in the back. And we won. We beat him. We held him off. I want everyone to heal. Nothing we can do with any XP, so... Uh, I could... I mean, I've got a few improvement points, but... I'm going to wait on that until I make uh, get some stuff with the new tech or unlock Bruno. So, in a couple of turns I will be able to integrate Bruno properly. This mental barbarian guy just died to unhost. He just suicided into unhost. My scout here died. We can watch this, look. Over nine phases of combat. I know, the scout didn't die. The archers died. Can we finish them off? Have you got this? Can we get some more wow? Can my scout kill the archer? Oh yeah, we can. Yep. Absolutely fantastic. Now let's move out. Oh, there's even more barbs. There's so many. So bloody many of them. We uh, we need to... Yeah, there's a barb camp right here by Osaka. Honestly, I feel like raising Osaka to the ground. It deserves it. I think the barbs I just dealt with at my capital come from the northern camp, so I'm going to move out and try and take that one down. Hello, Carl Marks 95 in the chat. Hello. Yeah, th so this game is kind of already known for barb spam and aggressive AI that fucks you over. Oh, I didn't even win that battle. I need to... This scout needs to fucking heal or something. Uh, oh, I did not mean to do that. However, I've got the undo button. So, that's good. Life-changing seeing that battle. Now, um, what have we got here? I think this scout can finish these guys. Have you got this? Yeah. And you are not allowed to attack them. Oh shit, wait, no, that's deep, so-called deep forest. I can't move through that. Oh, shit. I need to move around the deep, dense forest. Karen, thank you so much. Thank you for the reminder for everyone to like the stream. Also, subscribe if you haven't. If you're actually watching this and you haven't subscribed, then go for it. Bruno might be the next to uh, Hutelberg Forest. I mean, fucking hell. This is brutal. I may have more co combat XP soon so I can make new units. But yeah, thank you so much for the 10 Canadian dollars. Appreciate that. Uh, my tech allows me to build a saw pit now, which converts logs into lumber. And I'm going to do that right there. Yeah, we have lumber, which gives us more production. 
But I do need to make another lumber yard out of the forest so I can produce more wood to go into that. That's how the supply chain sort of system works in this game, and I actually like it. I said this, as soon, even when I, on the, the announcement day for this game, when we looked at the economy, dev diary and all that, I, I said it back then that the, uh, the supply chain economy was actually pretty cool. I said it even on announcement day, and it's true. So yeah, we researched community. I think I need to get wow, discipline next. We need to upgrade wow. our armies, Reminded get better units to fight these barbs. Like the stream chat. Laughing face. These are the barbs, let alone an enemy civilization. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, they need to make the battle screen optional. That needs to be able to be turned off. I will say that until they do it. But one point away from volunteers. Bruno, for 25 government points, can be upgraded. I'll do that in a few turns. We've met the United States. I don't know where they are. don't know where they are. These guys can hold the ground and let the barbs suicide into me. You heal. You also heal. Healing my scouts. One point, and then we can upgrade Bruno. Uh, engineering. I need more points of that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. You can right click it on the map to remove it. No, I know that. What I'm talking about is when I when I launch a battle myself, I don't want it to play at all. See, for example, there, right? I had to watch it or click off of it. I don't even want to have to click off of it, if you know what I mean. Now we spawn another army in the cap in Brno. Very nice. And we upgrade Brno. We've integrated it, boys. Right, now the improvements begin, right? So, yeah, this place already has insane resources around it. So let's start with uh, an olive plantation. So this produces olives. Thanks, Kreld. I, I do feel this one. This is the one. This is the run. This is it. Are you sure there is no option to disable the battle animations? I mean, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, we definitely did look extensively in the options the first time I played. And also in the demo. And I don't think there's been an update to the game, so... Autosaves, autosave frequency, army travel time, combat animation speed, map scroll speed, autoplay combat results, doesn't matter. No, it's just not there. It is just not there. Right, it is just... You can't even rebind controls. So, I mean, this is going to be another case of... They're probably going to improve the game post-launch, right? They're probably going to update and add shit like that. But just with every other Paradox game, these stuff, these things were just so... They should have been there on launch. But they weren't. So it's better to add them later than to not add them at all. And of course the game does already have DLC planned. We, we know that. Now... Um... Bruno is not receiving any unrest yet because of the garrison units. Um, I feel like Bruno is a city that needs some influence to expand its borders, so I'm going to get that. Otherwise, yeah, going well, going well. Speed up combat speed. No, that's only when I actually play the combat thing, I think. Otherwise, I can just skip it by pressing the X, like that. I just wish it wouldn't turn up at all. Just click the X immediately. Still a lot of points needed to get some engineering shit. And we're far off. We need... It would be good to probably upgrade my uh, output of improvement points. We're lacking them.
Fucking hell, I took a beating even trying to take that. This is a seasoned barbarian. They've had a bit of seasoning added. Fucking hell, even these encampments are impossible to take down, mate. It's horrible. I mean, I haven't really scattered this direction, so I'll go that way. Right, back in the capital. Uh... Yeah, the crane gives me more improvement points. I think that's essential. I'll get that now. And yeah, that's the turn. That's the turn. Just fighting an absolute death war against these barbarians. And again, there's another barbarian in my capital attacking my town of Unhost. I think I can take it down with a scout. Because it's nearly dead, yeah. Fucking hell, where did that one even come from? And I don't even think I'm winning the battle for this fucking thing here. No, Jesus. My armies here are now dying. Uh, oh my god. I need to take these ones home or they're dead. They need to heal. You just hold your position. God, difficult, isn't it? Burned your farm. He certainly did. Yep, he did. I already fixed that. Yeah, I can use my points. Improvement points wasted. Millennium is an odd game because it's clearly a mobile game ported to PC somewhat poorly, but it also decent play. Well, it looks like it's a mobile game ported to PC. But, I mean, is it actually? I don't know. You know, that's a theory. That's a theory. It could actually be originally designed to be a mobile game, which would explain a lot, but I don't know any facts on that. By the way, Sharon, you, you are entitled to an army name. Either I'll name it just after you, or you can choose it. It would explain the UI, Mr. Fez, yeah. I just don't think that's confirmed or anything. Right. These archers just completely fucked, so try healing. And I'll try scouting like I originally wanted to do. Um, did I lose a unit there? No, I didn't. They're holding their ground. If I send them back there to heal and move these guys forward a bit. Hold your ground. Um, stand there until healed. Scout. And we can get an engineering thingy improvement. Um, sanitation isn't required yet. That's only later in the game. Hole farming. Not necessary. Capital plus one region level. Now, what's actually the best thing here? I don't know. Kreld believes that the developers started as a mobile game but ramped things up as they were picked up by Paradox. Hmm, maybe. Sharon is caring. Okay. That mound builder is jacked. Yeah, he looks like he looks like he's about seventy-five years old, but also jacked. Uh, this army. Sharon is Karen. Yeah, back back to this though. I could expand my town, or one of these bonuses. How far into the game have you gotten spud? Oh, only the next age. Not far. Not far at all. My last playthrough where I was playing is Bavaria. Second half of the last millennia stream. Whole farming is minus 50% cost for farms. Yeah, but I don't really plan to build any farms anytime soon, really. I don't really... There's not... Well, in this... Is it a farm that I build over the, the cornfield? The wheat field? I think that's... Yeah, yeah. I think that would be a farm. So, yeah. But it just doesn't seem like that great a bonus when I could get maybe Pioneer or expand my town. I could expand Unhost and I could give it a unique bonus because this town is very good. It has adjacency bonuses. It's really good. And then, apparently, I can give it a new specialization. What's your opinion on the game so far? I won't answer that right now, but over the course of the stream, if you watch, I'll just obviously I'll keep giving my thoughts. Uh, you could rehost on host. Uh, hmm. 
or or I could spend the engineering points on straight up improvement points. So you know what? Let's expand on host. This is a great town. Oh, what kind of town would this be? Oh. A farming town generates food per adjacent farming tile. Oh. Oh, I get that now. Uh, a lumber town generate production per adjacent lumbering improvement. Now, does the saw pit count as a lumbering improvement or is it only the forest forester? I think both would count. Mining town and farming town won't be good, really. Because, so farming town... Productive farmland and pastures? No. I think only the forest does count. Well, in any case, it... I'm going to try it. Lumber town level 2. Uh... Plus one adjacency for lumber town adjacency bonus. Radius one from town times two from town level. I don't know. It's hard to tell, but I can switch freely. Go with that for now and see what happens. No, anything else to do? No, we end turn. And now I, I can get my engineering points next turn to make some improvement points. Right, the barbs are fighting, as always. Shall we watch this? Let's hit them hard, boys. You know, another thing about this battle screen, right? What? Well, right? Right? It's... it looks shite, we all know that. But... Does it actually show anything of interest in how the battle is going and the mechanics of it? Because you can sort of excuse the way it looks if it actually is pertinent or important. But no, it's just them blindly just running at each other. Really, it's, it's just completely cosmetic. Does it explain the battle system of the game, like the rock, paper, scissors? I don't know. I don't think so. It's just nothing, really. As far as I know. Uh, oh, I can finally upgrade some of these units. And I can spend my money on that. Because money, you know, money doesn't actually have that many uses in this game at the moment. It doesn't really. I think Civ always has a use for money. You can instant build units with money. Not in this game, though. But yeah, we finally can upgrade our army, which is really good. And, uh... Do I get... I don't, I don't really have any mining improvements near me. It wouldn't actually be good to get that. But, belief... Uh, grapes or rice into wine. Is there something in for olives? Yes, I can make a press, which t I can put my olives. So we're going to get belief. I really noticed the difference when my crossbows were the one shooting raider bands. Uh, but, you know, you know the, the battle screen will come into its own in the late game when we're shooting each other with fucking spider bots. I really want that. I'm really looking forward to that because... Civ doesn't have that interesting of late game units, you know. It's like futuristic, modern warfare-ish sort of stuff. But this game apparently goes all out with like bots and fucking spider bots. I'm looking forward to that. I want to see that. Which is why I'm very positive about this run, because we're just doing better. We'll be able to see that, hopefully. You can rush units and building with money. True, yeah, yeah. I can spend 46 to finish this crane that's going to be finished next turn anyway. Oh, actually, you know what? 130 to build that dolmen, which would have taken 7 turns, is actually good. That's actually pretty good. 
but a crane for improvement points is the next thing. Okay, I think we're safe to start killing this fucking encampment now. And it's already damaged, so we're good. We're looking good here. I just upgraded my boys to spears, they're stronger. We can uh, finally take this barbarian camp down. Wow. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Here we go though, we finally did it. We've finally taken the fight to the barbarians. We've, we've done it. Uh, ten culture, yeah. Nice one. Now we're safe. I'm going to take these people around here because we have this camp to deal with. This army is just not healing. I'm going to take them back home to heal. Even if it takes fucking ages. Um, so culture, we can't do anything yet. One turn until a culture power can be used. Frag. Um, uh, chariot unit. Dwelling. I don't think we need a dwelling anywhere yet. Housing is at one out of one. Each population. Maybe we actually do need a, a dwelling here. Uh, we're at six population. It's taking a while to grow. Um, I think it's at max food. In any case, even if I build it now, we're going to need it later anyway. Yeah, that's vast. That's vastly improved. It. Yeah, we're growing faster now. That was important. It turns out. Okay, we got a culture power. We could create a town. We could create a town in Brno, and we could make it right in the forest on the adjacent tile. And then we can upgrade it to eventually a lumber forest, a, a lumber, a, a lumber upgraded town. Uh, oh wait, wait, no shit. We actually need to get a research tech in order to build towns in a forest. So I'm going to get that in two turns. Crowd says, now you're getting it. Yeah, there we go. We're doing it. It's why you had problems in your previous games. Yeah, right. My people weren't growing because they were in max fucking thingy. Now, I also need to build a town guard in Prague because the uh, restlessness is going up a little bit. So, all in all, this time we're just doing a lot better. And then we get the upgraded tribalism. Yeah, I'm finally getting it, you know. Let's just get improvement points there. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm fucking doing it. We are millenniuming. We are millenniuming all over the fucking place. Finally getting the hang of this shit. Are we at war with Osaka? I don't think we are or not either way. Oh, but I will upgrade a unit. I think we do need a leader. Those are important. I think. I'm a pro millennial. I'm a millennial. I was born in 1997, so I think, am I actually not a, a millennial anyway? Right. So, yeah, in the long run though, we're going to have maybe another barbed problem in this direction. We've got another tribe camp though. Huge. Uh, knowledge. Oh, guess what guys? Oh my god. That is fucking massive. That is fucking huge. I got that tech instantly. I can build the town on this turn. And I'm building it right there. Oh my god, this is just insane gameplay. You don't believe this. Now, let's consult the map. You know what's next? Now, where's Brno? Here we go. Right, town names around here. We are gaming so much. Moravani, Ostopovice. Sterelice, anything standing out to you here as a cool name, a funny name? Mm. 
Manin. Is any of it in a forest? I don't know. Maybe the, I think the darker green is. Brezhina Adamov. Tell Nietzsche. Nothing stands out as funny. Maybe if we look further away a bit. Slavkov Uburna. Viskov. Um, um, anything funny? Lulek. Where do you see that? Lulech. Yeah, that's kind of a nice name. Brezhina. Horne Dubanyi. Horne Dubnyanyi. What does that mean in Czech? Czech speakers in the chat. Velke Nemčiče is a funny one if you know the language. Does that have anything to do with Germans? Nemčiče is something to do with Germany, in Polish at least. Does it mean New Germany? Velika? No, Velika means great in Russian. Good. It means demonetized. Okay. Um... We could make it Brno Airport. Letiště Brno Tarani. Uh, Dvorska. Horny is upper. Maybe if I zoom in more, we get more specific. Very specific. They have Primark. Ah, you really like cheap, shitty clothes in Czech Republic as well, do you? I see. McDonald's. Oh my god, slop has taken over the world, hasn't it? <laughs> divorce? Wait, where? Where? Where's divorce? <laughs> Modricia sounds like Monis. Where's divorce? Is it on the map right now where I am? Zoom out. Zoom out. Dvorska? Are you saying it's just Dvorska, or is there a place actually called Dvorce, which would maybe be pronounced Dvorce? Are you really just talking about Dvorska? Because that doesn't actually look like Divorce. Oh, that's shite, guys. That's shite. It's not really Divorce. Oh, I miss the German names. That was so much funnier. These are all the same. Uh, I guess what I'm looking for is something that just coincidentally resembles an English word that's funny. Uh, men in, me in. Uh, I'm not feeling them. I need something that I feel. Um, maybe up north. Anything. Ruda. Uh... Lube. Sloop. Uh, that's it. Sloop. See, that's the one. That's it right there. Slop. We fucking found it. I told you. I knew we'd find something. I knew we would find something. Slop. I wonder how you actually pronounce that. Check, bros. Sloop. Like a, a sloop is in the kind of navy vessel. Sloop. It's not in the right direction, but it's fine. Oh, I got another free scout because I researched scouting, but there's really no use for them, particularly. Uh, maybe investigate that direction. Prague can have an encampment for XP in military. Now we continue belief. 
and all that, and then we end the turn. Genius. Sloop. Oh my god, that was great. Blop. Nugget Keeper, I th who I think is Czech, says Slope. Slope. Slope? Are you saying... You're telling me that it's like two syllables? Slope? Because that sounds a little weird. Government XP or Diplomacy XP? Ah, we'll just get the good old-fashioned Government XP. Oh, another barb encampment, eh? Wow, shit. Those are the Aztecs, I think. Aztec scout over there, me. Alright, cool. So, we've got a lot of government XP now that we can do stuff with. Um... Not sure what though. Oh, I'm Slovak. Oh, okay. Nugget Keeper, I see. I see. Slovakia is well and truly a Danubian province, so we won't be naming anything after Slovakian places. But the next city that I found will be a Saxon region. So we will actually be bringing some German into this, because I think the Bohemians in the DoD Lark are actually content with letting things have German names, because they're really really germanified people in DoD, I think. They don't care. They're not really that Czech. So, where are we off to next? Um, I've got a lot of government XP now. So... Oh, I need to upgrade my government type soon, but... Uh, that's like something else does that. Now, uh... Well, I think actually what I'll do is probably get a new settler and make my third city. That. Oh, there's an undiscovered wonder up there. I should actually take my scout for that. Really? Check me. Oh, what's this? There is... Two archers? Oh, that's good for a cavalry to attack. This should be an absolute slaughter. Let's watch it. Wow. Bit of a mixed result there. I did huge damage to them, but they also did damage to me. Alright, the land ends there. Interesting. I wonder where I'd make my next save. There aren't many resources over here. And there's an existing city up north. Maybe here. I need to scout that area. Okay, um, we can go for the Age of Iron now. Uh, yeah, go for it actually. I don't urgently need any of these texts, so I'm going to go for it. It's a fine enough place for a vassal at least. You mean over here? Over here? Maybe here? Yeah, because of course there are resources that are probably here that I just don't, don't discover yet. I do always have to keep that in mind. And yeah, we can leave it as a vassal. What am I building in there now? 15 turn crane. Tell you what, if I get a forester now, that should improve my production here. Yeah, it improved it a lot. So that's a good choice for now. Also a hunting camp at the deer. That should all drastically improve Berno. Does it just is it just me or does it need housing? It's growing slowly. Is this game almost a replica of Civ 6? No, not really. It's not mechanically similar to Civ 6, really. Civ 6 is definitely different with all its fucking What do you call them? The the special buildings you get? Wait, that the archers fucking killed my chariot! Oh my god. Uh 
On a scale of slop to edible slop, how's this game? I'd call it edible slop because when you look past the sloppy interior and how it looks visually, it's actually pretty good mechanically. Just looks terrible. Looks terrible. And you can see that with your own two eyes. It's hard to make a sponsored game for this, right? Because it just visibly, obviously looks terrible. And obviously, when the sponsored people make the video, they have to sort of just not talk about that, even though it's obvious. So it just is really awkward. Is it better than Civ 6? It depends if you like Civ 6 or not. If you like Civ 6, then no, not really. Because Civ 6 is a big fleshed out game, unlike this. You need to put slop next to a slope. What if I put it next to sloop? Uh, engineering... Well, we can always get improvements, but... Uh... I hate Civ 6. Well, if you hate Civ 6, then you'll probably prefer this. Now, which... Who are, it's the Aztecs! Why are the Aztecs so technologically advanced? They've gone to the age of iron. Wow. Can I disembark onto the sea yet, by the way? I don't know. Do I have to research shipbuilding to actually get out onto the sea? Right, come on. Surely my scouts can take that. Yes, they did. Have you built research buildings? Like what? Like what? What's a research building out of all these? I've got a town centre. No. Oh shit. Oh, I need to build a temple, don't I? I need to build a fucking temple and... Uh, I'll, I'll rush that in the next turn. Or else I'll fucking fall behind and it's over, no! I need a temple and a meeting hall. I might have neglected that. I might have fucking neglected that. It might not be good. But anyway, uh, let's build a city at the other end of this forest. Oh, have we fucked it? Is this, a, is this actually another dead run after all? Oh, I wonder. It's a dead run. It's, it's over. Eureka culture power helps catching up. Okay, maybe we'll use that next in nine turns. Oh, don't go in there. It's so over. We neglected tech a little bit. So that's good though, we got uh, Mount Fuji apparently, there you go. So um, shall we expand slop, I'm expanding sloop, slop, sloop, slop, whatever you call it, why not. And I'm going to specialise it into a lumber town already, get that done nice and early. Exploration XP is shite, we don't need any new scouts. Look at the barbarian hordes, mate. That's going to be... This is going to be harassing my vassal that I build over here so much. Oh my god. Oh my god, the absolute fucking barb hordes. This is ridiculous. Oh shit, I need to bring armies over. I need to take care of this one first or else Bernal will be under attack from it the whole game. And I have. That's good. From which we can get some government XP, which is nice. Okay. Uh... Good, good, so far. Yeah, the barbarian horns just absolutely everywhere, mate. Now, let's make a forester here. Next to sloop, so it gets the adjacency bonuses. And then we can... That massively upgrades the production here. Uh, can I rush this building? No, nope, can't afford it. Those scouts are quite possibly dead soon. 
Yeah, they're already dead. Exploration XP, wow, fucking useless. Yeah, we built a dating life. Oh my god. Now there's more barbs coming out of literally nowhere to my fucking capital and raise my fucking farm. What the fuck? Uh, where do I get units really quickly? Well, first of all, uh, I don't care. I'm spending gold to rush the temple in one turn. And now we build a spear. Right, we need to start fixing this already, I guess. These scouts, honestly, pointless at this point. Just keep going around here. Uh, and Bruno itself should have... We, we need a research building here. Um, I'll build a temple here. I hope you got some sponsorship dollars from this, Spud Boy. Press F to doubt, though. No, I didn't. I'm just enjoying the game. I mean... If I wasn't playing this right now and streaming this, I would probably just be either not streaming or playing some other game I like to sort of play sometimes. I don't know. Alright, we can hit, maybe hit them. They're just a normal barb. I'm playing this game because I want to. Okay, at least those barbs sat, uh, suicided into unhost. I like, when, I like when the barbarians do that, at least. Because they've got bad AI. Watch my settlers fight. Just two unarmed citizens will, will go up and like, punch them in the face. Oi, mate! And they got the killing blow as well. So, I mean, that's some of the barbs down, at least. Yeah, nothing much to do. Just keep going. Where the actual fuck did those southern barbs come from, though? I've cleared out all this area. Oh, here we go. We're clearing out these barbs, though. Another one uh, suicided into me. We killed another one. It's the Visigoths. Bronze Age collapse. Oh my god, it's all kicking off. Isn't 2000 BC round right about the Bronze Age? Something like that. Um, so Prague can get... I'm going to build a city guard to permanently stay in Prague. I'm rushing that shit. And now we build a chariot. I'm ramping up my army. Can't believe this game, right? Like, I'm building, I'm massively producing an army. I'm forced to massively produce an army. Why? Not because I'm at, at war like I was in the past fucking sessions, but just because of the fucking barbs. And uh, we're running low on food in Bernal. So what I'm going to do there is get public improvements, and I think I will... Um... If I upgrade a pasture, that will give me meat in the sheep thing, so I'll do that. Um, that has helped a little bit. It's not growing fast, but it's not dying like it was, so that's good. Okay. Now, yeah. Enter. Go on war economy. I know. We have to. We got to the edge of iron, that's nice. That's nice. Thing is though, where do I actually want to make this city? Oh, oh shit, this is gonna be a mining city. This'll be a mining city, yeah. There's a, we've unlocked some iron deposits in that hill. Mountains there. Oh, also, like there's good stuff up here. Oh. I think Bruno is in range of that coal if it expands a lot. So I'm just going to found the city there. 
and that is obviously going to be what's the actual capital of Saxony in terms of the biggest city or whatever Dresden is it demobilize and remobilize Leipzig Dresden what's the most Czech city the most Albion city Slot gun. Dresden is more iconic. Yeah. I hope you're not saying Dresden's iconic for the reasons I think you're saying it is. Dresden is the capital. Okay, okay. Alright, that's good. Now, on that note, upon founding this vassal city, I am actually going to go and get a cup of tea. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I've been having a lot of fun so far. You know. It's fun because, I mean, I'm kind of enjoying the game, obviously, but it's also just an absolute uh, pleasure to be having this engagement with chat and enjoying it with you. So I'll be back and I hope you stay right where you are in about two minutes. Back in a sec, guys. All right, we're back. We're back. E break complete. So yeah, I'll take a mandatory shilling moment as well, though. He doesn't know he is losing. Lol. What are you on about? 
Right. Uh, so, I'll take the uh, mandatory shilling moment. Please uh, support the channel with Super Chat and join the channel membership. If we get enough channel members, I think we need 120 and I probably have like 110 right now. Something like that. Get a new emote and I'm not sure what it'll be. But I will get a new one. I might make a community post to ask the members what they want. Oh, it's time for a new form of government though. I'm going to use my culture to get the thingy. What's a, what does the violent revolution do though? You just get chaos. You can change your government, but you get chaos. Hmm. Can't but I sub. Well, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, then I'd encourage everyone to do that, at least. <laughs> channel memberships, obviously you have to pay. It's fine if you don't do it. It's fine. But we should definitely subscribe. That costs nothing. Now we're, we're upgrading things to crossbows now, which is quite important. Uh, scouting around as usual. Uh, here we are in the Iron Age. Now what? I don't know what we're looking to get here. I don't know what we're going for. Like, what tech should I be going for? If I can get a tech that I can actually get more tech from. So if I build a library, right? Because we're, we're maybe falling behind on tech a little bit. I could go for the scribes. How does Fudgun echo wholesome 2012 YouTuber so well? Scottish jeans? I don't know. I don't know. Spudgun, what football team do you support? Uh, as insofar as I actually follow football, which I don't really, it would be Aberdeen, of course. I'm, I'll be loyal to my hometown till the day I die, but... They're, an, they're a bit of a joke of a team, at least right now, but oh well. You need something to boost your food, but more knowledge is always good. Well, to boost my food, I can just keep building farms and food storages in my cities. I can just do that for that, if you know what I mean? Uh. Okay, ending turn. Right, let's see where we go from here. Uh, what's this? Multi terrace mounds. Innovation multi terrace mounds. What's that though? The architects of the Elven Confederation have begun building even larger multi terrace mounds. Mm. So 450 gold, or my burial mounds, of which I haven't got any anyway. Give me plus one improvement points. Okay, I'm taking the money. I'm taking the fucking money, anyway. Obviously. Uh, and we can... Peaceful revolution! Yeah. Oh, it's this choice again. Oh, God. The Imperial Dynasty or the Kingdom? Uh, there's a lot of numbers here to look at. This, I think it, I think what it really comes down to is whether I'm going all out and investing in my capital or if I'm spreading out more. Imperial Dynasty is for playing tall. I pretty much always go Imperial Dynasty, says Mac and Cheese. Well, yeah. Buff to capitals, buff to the homeland. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I don't want to overthink that. Um, tell you what, plus one food, uh, yeah, plus one food please. Where am I going right now with my armies though? I don't even know. I think, what if I just take Osaka? <laughs> what if I just did this? Well, I'd lose a lot of troops if I did that, as you can see. Don't forget to construct the palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Whenever I can construct something, I'll construct that. Prague is growing. 
the territory is not growing though. I'm not getting influence. Right, I seem to be lacking a bit of influence. Uh, both of these things are done in one turn, so... Oh, there we go. Speaking of that, speaking of that, Bruno immediately grows. Okay. So, uh... Mill. I think I should build a mill next. Because that means... Uh, I actually need to build another farm before that. So before I can actually make the best of that and actually produce the flower or whatever, I need more another one more farm for that to be optimal. Okay, keep that in mind. Keep that. In mind. There's Cardiff up there from Scotland because they have the the entire British name pack. So in Brno. Uh, Unrest suppression. I'm going to build a city guard and rush it. The suppression and uh, um, I feel like building. I'm going to rush walls just so it's safer. Civic monument gives me more influence. A work camp is production and engineering XP. Uh, I fear the AI death war. Yeah. I'm, I think, that, like someone was saying in chat, the AI is less likely to deck on you when you have a high uh, army, which I do, kind of, right now. But actually, you know what? I could do with even more. I'm going to build another crossbow here. That's my city guard, you will stay there. And in Prague, I'm going to build the palace, right? Can I build the palace? Is the palace a special building I have to build with something? Domain power. Now what's the domain power? Okay, I need 20, 20 points. All right, I've got you. Don't actually build it. Okay. I need a, I do need another log encampment here. But for now, honestly, Prag needs influence so it can grow its borders. So I'm building that. It really needs that actually. Prospector. Might as well build that over uh, here. Any gold there? Yes, there is. Yeah, we got gold near Brno. Yeah, I might as well just use my exploration points on that because I don't really that useful for much else. I need to take this in camp. I just saw another village down there. That's very good. Yeah, good stuff happening all around. Houghton the Spring. There. Yeah, everything going well. Just keep going steadily along. Um, should I be aiming to upgrade Dresden though? Because it's a vassal right now. Which, I mean, vassals are just kind of shit because you can't use improvements. You can't make improvements. Even though they really need them to do anything. So I feel like I should be aiming to upgrade Dresden as well. That barb will probably just suicide into the city. Oh, nice. I will take... The culture. Yeah. Very good things are happening. Very good things are happening. Trust the plan. What was it I needed for 20? Construct palace. Right here in Prague. Yeah, brilliant. Um, right. Good stuff, yep. Yeah. You can just feel the progress. You can feel the green numbers going up, and you can feel the progress. It's all good. So two two barbarians just suicided into me, which is also just great news overall. Well, the commander, hold your position. Yep, yeah, just great stuff. Just green numbers going up. 
and all that. Yeah. But what is the plan? Keep growing and expanding. And I just want to survive and make it to the late game as much as I can. Now, I need another farm. So this is probably the best place. It's rice. Now, how's the production now looking, right? The wheat is now being made, I think. I think it's all looking good. Maybe. And I'm getting even more improvement points, because we really need them. We really need to improve shit. Right, we just one-shotted that barb. Rice needs plantation. Wait, did I do the wrong fucking thing? Oh god, I did the wrong thing. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that's that's the right thing now. Oh, you're just you're just confusing me. It's hard to tell sometimes, actually. What's the production chain looking like? One rice. One wool. I don't even know what I'm getting wool from. Um, where's my farming going to in this city? I have a farm producing wheat. Which just gets converted to food. I have a mill that's producing two wheat or rice into flour. Which is food. But it doesn't say any of that here. The wool is from the sheep. Oh yeah. I have a lot of sheep there. We can... Obviously, maybe we can look to Im use an improvement that takes something from the sheep. Or does something out of wool, you know? Uh, mill has no worker? Okay. Yeah, there's the war from the aggressive AI, as usual, probably coming up soon. Uh, I'll take the government XP for... Uh, What does re guys? What does region level actually do? Each region has a region level that can be increased by in turns in buildings. Region level incre region level increases the population limit and is required for certain buildings. Prague is region level four. I think we don't need that. I think four is probably quite big. So I don't know. Let's keep pillaging Osaka. We're nearly there. For no... What does the town centre do? Government XP. But no is just looking good overall. It's looking good. I can start getting art. You know what? I'm going to start getting arts XP. We're starting to get luxury things. Right? You're yeah, welcome, Game and Watch. Yeah, so we're now, we're now at hostilities with Scotland. So that's happening. Yeah. And I'm pretty much just going to raise Osaka. I'm just going to destroy it. It's too dangerous to be left alive. Okay, we've got a culture power now. What do we do with that? Um, uh, a eureka moment, though. A eureka moment. Yeah. Eureka moment, because we're maybe behind on tech. I'm going to go back and get shipbuilding for one turn, just in case we ever need to do anything at the sea. And in Prague, I will produce... Uh, walls. No, rush the walls, and then produce... Uh, the library. The library for knowledge. Yeah. 
We got a lot of government points. Um, I don't want a settler anytime soon, so plus one housing, plus one production on palace. Yeah, this should give Prague a lot of production. Yeah, yeah, good, good, very good, very good. Yes. Loch Gadon, what are we talking about? Loch Gadon. Now in Prague, I'm going to build another forester. That means we're one forest thingy away from producing another log, I think. Scottish London. All right. That's what you're on about. Yeah, the reason for that is I created the custom nation Scotland for my first game. But you can only choose a certain name pack for cities for the AI. So it names them with the British names. And there's not much you can do about that. There's still a barb camp here that I never did take down. I'm going to unite an army and take it. I'm mining so I can improve tiles of mines here now, maybe. Both my turns growing fast for the population growth rate, yes. Might need to make a dwelling in Brno soon. Prague is also growing pretty satisfactory, okay. Doing well. Just getting my tea there. So what's next on the agenda? Uh, else to do right now and I really hope I'm not falling behind. Scotland is far away but they again if the AI really wants to fight me they will. They'll just send troops and they will death war me. If I am going to expand anywhere I think actually up north for my next city is the right place. You know I really need more fucking what I really need is improvements improvement points that's the most important thing right now. now what's this so we are producing shit conversion requirements unmet rice is being consumed I don't really know exactly how to interpret that Let's go get the dwelling laid down so it's got the housing bonus. That's good. I do believe I am on a depth. Do your mounds? Oh yeah. True. I just don't have enough building points. Building mana, if you will, if you want to call it that. The wheat needs a farm in Bro, I think, but no. Uh, oh, did I not already build a farm on this wheat? Oh, did I not? No, I don't think I did. Oh, right. Maybe I do need to build that. This rice has a plantation, which is giving me stuff. Right, we haven't had a battle for a while. Let's watch the battle. Ah. 
I lost my fucking commander. Can I get a salute in the chat for him, members? Not a, not a glorious day for us, but we are gradually winning that encounter. Fallen slop. It's over. Scout on scout action. Thank you, uh, Doom Lord, for your huff, 400 huff. What you've missed so far is this entire run up until this point. You know, building three Albion cities, right? That's it, so far. Uh, public improvements. Should I really build a mound? It all it does is give culture. I don't really need culture. I need food and shit like that first. So I'm actually going to build a farm on the wheat. Now that's big. That's important. That's good. We're making flour. Evening, gents and spud. What I miss. And Bruno is growing in one turn. How do I compare to Scotland's population though? Cardiff 10? I can't actually see any more of them. And my scouts are probably dying. Cardiff having 10 and it not being the capital is not a great sign. Again, I think, despite fucking thinking I'm playing well, again, I, I think I've fallen behind again. But let's get more housing from that bonus. Uh, I think I've actually fallen behind, but I'm still doing better than my last two runs. Definitely. Oh my god, two Scottish scouts just fuck them up. And I got a pioneer. Maybe I'm going to build a fort up here for the first time. Use the actual fort mechanic. You're defending Dresden, which I can upgrade in two turns with more forts. Not forts, but thingies. Are you getting Osaka now? Yeah. Uh, right, what have we got? We can make it a vassalized territory. No. Um, ah, I can gain two population. Now, this is actually really good. Raising these cities is great because you get two free population. That's really good. Just an instant growth of two population. Plus 10 chaos. Who cares? Plus 100 wealth. Nice. That's really good. So, Prague now has 12. And we are lacking sanitation. That's the current issue. Uh, housing and food are okay. Could be better. It's shrinking, actually, because of the sanitation problem. And unrest is fine because we have guards. Okay, that's the situation. Mining, who cares? I tell you what. Missing out on tribal elders and the council building is probably a skill issue, so I'm going to go and get that now. Meanwhile, in Prague... Uh, I'm, I'm going to convert you to making fucking... I can make 15 improvement points from Prague. That is huge. That's really good. That's important. Yeah. Mounds are sanitation. Alright, that's what I'm building next turn. Hi, Jamala. Well, you say burial mounds are sanitation, but it does not say that on there at all. The sanitation is actually the midden. You need upgrade. Well, be more specific. You need the upgrade tree for sanitation. What's the upgrade tree? Is it this one? Yeah, this. That, right? But I can also build a midden. Right? What do clay pits do? Um, I mean, I, I should be building some more improvements around here. What do we need? Another logging camp is actually probably vital. Another forester. Uh, here. 
that improves my re that really really improves my production chain of wood. And then the next building I'll build is probably something that I can use the, the logs for. I think that would be the most optimal thing to do. Alright, these people are done. You can go back to Bernal. I just made two leader units. That's probably not good. Can I undo that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't need two of them. Yep. I think undoing is the, the best move there. Also, how do I build roads? Prague is working a lot of unimproved tiles. It needs more love. Yeah, I'll be doing that. Um, and let's get officials. I just want to complete the text that we've kind of missed out on. Uh, and here, I'll build the council for the knowledge. In Bruno. Okay. Spawn utility ship. Well, I'm not doing anything else with these points, so I won't do that. Can I? Where can I actually spawn it? I think I need a harbour or something, so I don't think I can. But yeah, hello Swackle, it's going okay. You need a dock, yeah. There's a Scottish scout. They're scouting me. I know what they're up to. Okay, improvement points. Improvement points. Right. What can I do with logs? Now what is it? What's it actually called? I've got three lumber sitting doing nothing right now. Saw pit converts three logs to three lumber. Isn't that what I'm already doing? I already have a saw pit somewhere, don't I? Yeah, I have a saw pit. Okay, right, that's fine. That's fine. A mill is a weaver. Converts two wool or things into cloth. A kiln converts clay. A stone cutter is stone, obviously. Now for more points, a paper maker. A paper maker is what I'm looking for. One log. Right. Sanitation and food are needed. Yeah, well, yeah, it's true. Uh, a scribe converts paper into manuscripts for knowledge. That's really good. And then there's the midden. But I will, in fact, I'm going to just wait for the midden. That's actually what I need to use the points on. As much as I'm getting some nice supply chains, I need to focus on the thing that's actually important. Sanitization. They just killed my pioneer. I'm sick of this war shit already. I'm sick of the, the war happening. Maybe I can go and vassalize. I'm going to go and try and vassalize Agony. Yes, it's okay, Miles. It's okay. You just have to... I'm not good at giving a definitive answer on the question, is this game good or not? In order to really understand, you have to watch my stream. Watch me go, go through the ups and downs. Right? I hate to say it, but there's no way to give you a really... I'm not good at review, instant reviews or videos like that. You just have to come along for the experience, if you know what I mean. Right, now we have sanitation. Fantastic. And if I upgrade that to a granary, we would get more food. So we're upgrading everything I really need. Yep. What do you think of the EU5 stuff? Well, if you want my opinion on that, I know I'm going to be putting you over to go and look at a big stream, but if you could go on the main channel, right here, on the live tab, I have a stream called Victoria 3 Goes Creatively Bankrupt, and within that stream, there's a timestamp where we talk about the EU5 stuff, and all my actual thoughts on that are given there in great detail. But the long story short, it's positive stuff, okay? For EU5, right? Now, what next? This army here can take that for life. Okay. Can you heal? You are supposed to just sit there and guard the city. So this is an American city here, Seattle, three pops. Now. You know the thing, thing about a game, this game that's a bit annoying for me is 
I'm only just catching up on all the shit I have researched. I'm trying to build the buildings. I'm trying. But I'm already advancing and getting way more shit that's complicated. And I mean, I can build cavalry. I can build smelting. I don't have any stuff for smelting. I don't have mines set up anywhere. Uh... I feel like getting the horses for cavalry. That's all I can really think of that I can handle right now. Is a city next to Prague some kind of suburb? It's a town. You can build towns within the boundaries of cities. I'm going to change on host to my town. I'm going to change the specialization to farming. It gets a plus two bonus for that, I think, next to a couple of things. Um, I can build a new farm. I think I'm just going to straight up build a normal farm here. Just get more food in here. Or wheat. News from abroad that Aztecs and Americans are now at war. Okay. All right. library for tech. Eight sixty BC for six wealth I can rush a culture. Okay. And what can I do with that? I don't know. You know what? Well I can soon upgrade Dresden, which I think I will do. I think it's about time. It's got some very good stuff around it, and I really, it's, I think it's important that I build a mining city for some of the goods that I just don't have access to right now. Right, you wait there. You are going to give me that town. You're going to convert them to me. Uh, these units, I'll oh, just head up this way. Head up that. Culture power. What was I going to do with this? In fact, I think when I do upgrade that city, I'm going to make a town in it already. All right, we've gained Agin or Agin as a vassal, and I think that's very nice. Let's kill the Scottish scout. All right, Dresden is being integrated. All right, fantastic. The culture thing, we're going to create a town and I'm going to create it. Okay, hear me out on this. I'm going to create it within my own borders. I'm going to create it so that it's, adja it's adjacent to two mining places so I can give it the mining bonus, right? Doesn't that make a lot of sense? And we actually have to go on the map again and find a funny name for a town near Dresden, IRL, which is now the tradition of this game. The official tradition of naming cities in this game, naming towns. So what have we got around Dresden that sounds a little bit funny? What have we got? Pirna, Dona, Reital, Kliphausen, Koswich, Radebeul, Dür, Dü, Dürersdorf, Dietersbach, Radeburg, Ottenhof, Okrila, Wachau. Hmm. Wisdruff, Arnsdorf, Wisdruff. Why do you like Wisdruff so for, so much? Uh, Stolpen, Arnsdorf, Radeburg, Nossen. Doofenshmirtz, uh, Ohorn, Lichtenburg. Anything that's just funny or sounds like some kind of English word. Uh, Ebersbach, Rosenheim, Riesa, uh, Nossen, 
Rosfein, Döbel, Ebersbach, Heineken, Weiberg, Halsbrücke, Herz Herzogswalde, Klingenberg, Schönfeld's been pretty, pretty field. Yeah. But it's not funny. It's just not funny though. Frauenstein just means like woman something. Frauenstein. <laughs> Bad Gottleuber Bergis Hubel. <laughs> Fucking hell. How long is the tax limit of a town? Stoppen. Stoppen? Stolpen. Bad Shandau. Bad Shandau. That one's kind of pretty nice. Pulshits. Pulls nits. It's not pulshits. It's pulls nits. Pulls nits. Steiner. Steiner could be quite funny because it's Steiner. Gecklesberg. All right, Gickelsberg, hear me out. Gickelsberg. It's a very small village. What's it got in it? Gickelsberg. We have a look around Gickelsberg. Oh, it's lovely. It doesn't look like there's much in it other than a few houses. What's this called? What's the street called? Steiner Street? It's actually Steiner Street. Steiner Street. Steiner Street. Weird. So close. I love Spud pronouncing German cities. It's so keen. Is it because I'm doing it well or is it because uh, it just sounds funny? Well, it's a really... I don't know what to say about this place. It's just very basic village. What's this? Ben Leon und Gefat Tater. I mean, don't know what this is. Is this just a house with a fancy sign on it? What's going on here? It's like an Airbnb apartment or something? Shall we keep investigating? There's uh, some construction going on here and they've got their portaloo set up. Of course. You think there's anything interesting up the road a bit? Anything up here? Anything going on? Where's the local village tavern? Or something like that. Do they even have a shop or something? Do they have a shop? Anything going on in this town? Anyway, right, okay, anyway. Where, what, what was the place called again? Uh, sorry, Gickelsberg. Okay. It's got a Haufa motor gerator, if you ever need some of that, whatever that is. Oh, Steiner. Alright, we're getting too sidetracked. We're calling it Gickelsberg. Or were we, were, do we call it? Do we call it Steiner or Gickelsberg or Steineyer Street or, or something? Uh, it sounds very funny, but you're doing your best. I could put in a lot of effort and pronounce them very well, I guess. We got distracted, and it's now a GeoGuessr stream. True. I might. I should do GeoGuessr. I think we just call it Steiner. Steiner's what our general will be called. If anyone gives a super chat, you can name an army. Whatever you want. But we have a lot of armies now. And I don't think any of my named armies are still exi in existence. Any of the ones I already named after super chatters. I'm sorry. We need to get some new names on there. What do you build as the first place 
the first thing in a town that you build. Uh, uh, I think production. Uh, then, so you, you can then build a load, a load more stuff. A road. But how do you build roads in the ga in the game if you can at all? Does anyone know how you build roads? That's actually baffled me. The whole time I've been playing, I don't even know if you can build roads. Yeah, the the army of Hull is gone. I don't know what happened to them, Hull. I don't know. Roads are automatic. Anyway, don't you see me kill this barbarian horseman? There you go. Exciting stuff. By the way, we could rename Agen. This could be our Brandenburg. But in any case, I'm going to build um, a farm out here. Um, here. Should grow even faster. Oh, what the fuck is that? Is that a mound? A burial mound. That's something different. But I'm, big, I'm bringing these crossbowmen up to try and take down this barb encampment. And in Prague, what are we making? We've got a lot of production here. We can make shit quickly. Catch up on knowledge. Mound moment. Super chats and members can have an army stack named after them. And I'll always give my... My latest super chat will always have the best army I have. You know, every super chat gets the best army and then so on and so on. Civic Monument, one out of three. I don't know if any of the crisis thingies are happening. Wait, maybe maybe the infrastructure tech gives you roads. Although I don't see them. They're not there. What we're building in Prague. Uh, I feel like just making more army, just in case. Three out of four backseat gamers say to progress to the, the mound tree. Oh, mound builders. Well, I need more engineering tech, but then I'll get onto that. Prague is growing a pop in a turn, which is really good. Bruno is growing nicely as well. When Bruno hits 11 pops, by the way, it's going to need sanitation. I know that. So I'll, uh, well, I'm just going to get the mound building sanitation, which adds plus three sanitation to a burial mound. Oh, I get it now. Oh. I remember earlier when we were talking about the mounds and the, all that. Okay, I get it. I don't know if anyone actually told me that at the time, specifically, but I get it now. Well, we've already taken that. Uh, Arts XP. Haven't done anything with this yet. Immigration? Increase a region's population by one. That's just a straight up pop growth. That's nice. I'm going to put a pop in Dresden. That's a, just a very nice, straight up, decent bonus. Wait, what's this? Rebuild rune? No, no, I thought it said roads or something. No. Okay, anyway, anyway. Right. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, so is this... How do I know if I have any unemployment? I think everyone's working. Everyone's kind of working here. There's three people in that forest. Yeah, the, the next thing I need to build is something like a paper thing that turns this, the, the logs I have into knowledge. As for Bruno, um, I don't know what I need here. Something that upgrades my olives would be nice. 
top left workers number would be unemployment. Yeah, I don't have that anywhere. Chaos event incoming? Oh yeah. There's nothing much I can do about that. I just have to let it happen. And I think it's happening next turn. Well, wish me luck, everyone. Let's see what happens here. Okay, nothing happened yet. Maybe next turn. So I wonder what to do. I mean... I'm hostile with Scotland, but I'm not actually at war. We can't fight each other in our cities, so they won't raid my cities or anything like that. There's a lot more resources over here to the west, so maybe I can look forward to getting another settler and heading that way. But I also should really kind of just be playing tall with what I have at the same time. I might just send my armies back to the cities, just hold out. Not worry about that. Just just hold out and consolidate what I have. Unrest is fine everywhere. I'm a meeting hall for almost EXP. Why not? It's going well. It's progressing along nicely now. Reminder, this army here, my biggest army, the one with the uh, the commander, the leader, leader two. I'll name that army after the next super chatter if anyone has a request. Or the channel member. You know, in Prague, I am going to put the production back into upgrade points in Prague. That gives you a lot. And sanitation. But although that doesn't actually give me any sanitation until I actually build a burial mound. Oh, oh we're out of housing in Prague. Okay, okay, right. Um, I'll just build a new dwelling then. I'll just build a new dwelling in Prague. Simple. Here. Okay, housing is back on track. It will grow in three turns. Expanding west would be good. Vassals, never a bad thing. Okay. It's just that the vassals don't do anything other than just claim a bit of land for you. So, um, Bruno, how's it growing? It's growing very well. I will build a mound in Bruno, maybe, because we need that sanitation in like one turn when it grows a pop again. Wait, what happened here? Oh shit. Chaos living among animals. Citizens of Albion Confederation do not understand the importance of maintaining a clean living space. Oh god. Midden one raise status. Did I even build a midden? What does this mean? I don't know what it means, but I'm paying 450 for it not to happen. Uh, but meanwhile in Prague, I think a barb just suicided into Unhorse. I don't know. I have no idea what even happened. Vassals give you resources for free and they get pretty good with prosperity. Okay, okay. Thank you. Maybe I will do that. In the next maybe turn or two I can get a new settler, so I might actually do it. Bruno. Bruno has 100% sanitation. I don't know what it's getting its sanitation level from. But it's fine for what it is so far. Uh... We've got one olive. We've got two flour. Now, can I do a farming thing? Can I do a farming thing? Kiln? No weaver, no vats. No mill. Wheat or rice into flour? No, I already have that one. It's the press, isn't it? No. What's the next level of farming building? You get oven in the next tech. Okay. Is it an infrastructure? Yes. Okay, one one tech away from that. Okay. That's absolutely fantastic. And I will wait for it. Yeah, we're good. A lot of army XP, but not much to use it on. I feel like army XP is very good to save in case of a war. You can do things like give your units instant health 
and I can spawn units, so I'm just, just saving that. And also upgrading to commanders and shit. Claim territory with exploration. Claim a neutral territory tile bordering your region. Uh, not much I need that for right now either. It's still better to have 200% sanitation. Okay. The press does cooking oil. Yeah, uh, I need two olives for that though. I don't have two olives. Just, just the one, I think. You'll run out of Warfare XP when you start upgrading your arms again. Yeah, yeah, that's also what it's used for. That's right. Yeah. The scout is up to full health. Choose technology. Age of Kings, I guess. But oh. Uh, you can be the first to have an aqueduct. Yeah, the aqueduct can give me the sanitation. The next sanitation. Now I build an oven. Right here. Which has massively upgraded the food because we are now producing two bread. That is very good. Yes. Do the AI trigger the fucking Age of Plague every time as well? I don't know. I don't know what age we're going to get from the AI this time. Who knows? Now let's build a settler in Dresden and expand out this way. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, send them out here. Uh, up here, up north. There's grapes. You are all just garrisoning that. What was I going to build, if anything? Was I going to build something? Viral, il viral illness, 3 out of 20? Well, it's not happening though. It's not growing. It's fine. It's not doing anything. Was I going to build anything though? Was there not something that I was immediately trying to build? Mounds. Aye, but I'm not lacking sanitation very much. I I'm, okay, I'll build one anyway. In Prague. Just so we can say we finally have a mount. I already built the oven. I already built that. So yeah, we are now massively growing with our needs in Prague, which is very good, I think. I've just got to think of what to do with these resources. Flax. Two wheat. Uh, I can make a mill in Prague, actually. Right? I can make a mill, turn those two wheat into two flour, and then maybe even make bread out of them. Okay, even more food there. Alright, I'm, look, I'm very glad. I'm finally, truly getting into the supply chain of this game. I'm really learning it. That's going really well for me. And it's satisfying. Look, K Krell is so proud of me. Um... The, the Americans have taken over a Japanese city. What is this? The Bavaria series? In classic Paradox Faction, this game actually looks like it could be good if it had spent two more years in development. Yeah, absolutely. I think it might, might not have even needed two years, just one year or even less. Give it multiplayer, give it way more customization options, flesh it out that little bit more. I don't even think it needed two years. Because... Like, the bulk of the game is there. The mechanics are good. It's all solid in that front. They could have also spent that time making it look better. But yeah, you're completely right. So, what's next? I build a mill in Prague somewhere. Maybe running out of space soon. Now, you can already see, as we get into the mid-game, and we're really building a lot of shit, you can finally start to see the sprawl of the city and how you just build building or tile improvement after tile improvement and they really just sprawl out. That's really happening. Also, we have two flax and we can build another flax plantation. So, what do we build out of that? So the flax gets turned... Yeah, we can turn that into cloth, which generates wealth. That's our next goal. Make another flax plantation and then turn it into cloth. That would be good. So yeah, that... Yeah, 
The wheat is now getting turned into flour. We can also make an oven to make bread. There you go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Paradox definitely should have let the... Oh? Reject. Fuck off, Scotland. I'm ready. I can fight them. I know it might sound hubristic or something, but I feel like I'm actually in a position to fend for myself. Now, I've just founded Hamburg, but this is going to become a Brandenburg region. Do we just make this Berlin, or do we name it something else in the Brandenburg area? Remember, we're the Elbian Confederation. And this is going to be another one of our German regions. Anyway, uh, these guys are just going to garrison Brno. You are garrisoning Hamburg. You're scouting. I need to scout out the rest of Scotland, actually. I need to come in there. Cardiff has 13 pops now. Uh, Dresden. There's a lot of shite I can build in Dresden, but I don't know what to build. Tell you what, I should start getting quarries and mines and upgrading this. That'll be good. What's the difference between a mine and a quarry? Iron. This has iron. Yeah, I build a mine which turns that into production. Good. But then that production goes towards building, so I need to build stuff. Leipzig is still there. That's part of Dresd. That's part of Saxony. I already have a Saxony. Berlin and then a funny town. Yeah. I guess I can make it Berlin. What if we did Cottbus? Remember how many battles of Cottbus were fought over the course of some of those wars in the Bavaria series? I feel like we say that the name of that town so many times. Quarries do arty stuff. Mines do production. Listen, here's my... Here's what I'm thinking though. When it gave me the option to upgrade that, if I put a quarry there, it says work one limestone. But if I put a mine, it works two iron. But the actual resource in the tile says just iron. So am I, am I not wasting iron by making the limestone thing? But yeah, I've decided to name this Cottbus. Berlin is too cliched and I feel like that belongs to Germany. Hello, uh, Jing Chen. Oh, Cottbus is under siege by barbs. That would be a waste. Okay. okay. Right. In Dresden, I will build walls. Just in case. Um. Who? Wait, am I getting unrest because I rejected their fucking thing? They, they hate me now. They will probably go to a full war with me. I guess. But, yeah, I need to scout out Scotland. That's a, an American city of Rem. Weird. Agen. I didn't rename this, did I? I should rename this another fucking Elbian... City. Now, in order to form the Elbians, you need Holstein and Pomerania, so I should make this a Pomeranian city. What's the capital of Pomerania? What's the major city of Pomerania? Stettin. Mm, Stettin, yeah. Stettin. Stettin. Although, you know, if you really want to LARP it, it could be, since it's only a vassal, I could have made it one of the puppets, one of the spearlings of the Elbians, or, or, or Bohemia, or whatever. That would all have also made a lot of sense. Anyway, uh, what to build? I was going to build something in Prague, wasn't I? I was going to build... I was definitely going to build uh, an oven? I can't afford that right now, but I could also I should also build a scribe. Wait, uh, no, I need to make the paper maker next. Paper maker. Um. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Paper maker next. Oh, now we're hostile with the Aztecs, and I have no idea where they even are. Okay, we have a conundrum. I'd have to build it. You know what? I think we have enough game. We have enough food, so I'm going to build it over that. We have enough of that. Um, I'm producing one paper. I'm producing one paper. Now, I've got one set of logs here, which is red. What does that exactly mean? Does it maybe mean no one is working it in one of the foresters? Or, or it's unnecessary? It's not being used? Is there... Uh, do I have a shortage of log? Missing one log? Well, that's easy. All I need to do is make one forestry in one of these many forests I have. That's simple. You know what, Dresden? Go towards that as well. Just more and more improvements. Uh, rush culture. Very nice. What can I do with culture? Propaganda. Reduces chaos. Okay. Truce. Oh, okay. Now we're cooking. We can get rid of wars pretty easily here. If we really want to. You have the ability to call a truce. Apparently. But for now, I'm just going to... I'm going to do local reforms on Prague to massively boost everything going on there. Seems like a good thing to do. Sapporo, six pops, is a Scottish city. Interesting. Your chaos can go into negativity propaganda. Oh, well, I don't see it going up that much right now. I think we're good. Another forester here. That gets rid of that deficit. Okay, good. How many paper does it take to go into the scribe? One paper is all you, all you need. Okay, good. Also, I need to make an oven. That takes two flour. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to have to build it over the, the olives. I'm going to build it over the olives. Sorry, olive bros. But we are now producing two bread again, which is giving us massive food. We're growing pride very fast. Look at that. You're ahead on technology. I'm ahead on technology. Well, because that's weird because I didn't, I don't even think I'm doing that well on it. But apparently I am. This is the game where we're finally fucking killing it. Now, we need to find Scotland's actual capital city. I don't think we have found that. I think it's around here. It's here, maybe. This is the town of their capital. Region Manchester? Uh, wait, how do I know what the capital is? It could actually be Cardiff. It's hard to tell, isn't it? I don't know. They hate me. But I don't care. Delete Manchester. I'd, I'd be happy to. I'd be happy to. Right, um, we have government points, so plus one knowledge on palace for every five population. Well, that's big. That gives me even more knowledge growth. The tech, plus 16. I might even be the first of the Asia Kings here. I don't know. If he, he's telling me I'm ahead on tech, maybe I will actually be the first to the Asia Kings. We will see if that happens. Oh, those scouts are fucking, yeah, dead. We never got to find Manchester, unfortunately. Luxury. 
You have a population of at least 16 in one of your regions. Okay, we need luxuries. Oh, this is fucking Civ... This is... Okay, this is very Civ 6-ish. This is very Civ 6-ish. And I have, a, I have a lot of upgrades to do. I'm, I'm going to actually... What I'm going to do... Okay, Dresden is getting unrest because I don't have troops in it. What did I do with the troops in there? Right, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sending the cavalry here. I'm going to... How much money do I have? Not enough. I'm going to build a city guard in Dresden because it really needs one. Now. Yeah, yeah, Chris, yeah. Now I need to get luxuries somehow. I don't know what counts as a luxury. I would build a scribe, but there's nowhere to build it. I need Prague to grow. But I'm going to build the plantation for that flax anyway. Prague needs to grow. So I'm going to change to the growing building, right? What's the growing thing? The influence building. I think, do I already have it at maximum? Civic monument for influence, yeah. Already have that. If I get a market for foreign import slots, then maybe I'll get that thingy for luxuries. Zero out of one, we don't have it. Can Prague get a second town? Yeah, probably. But I don't know where I'd put it. Or what I'd do with it. Should I? I need, I need culture in seven turns for that. For no... If I build another forester, I can get one more log. And then a saw pit. And then stuff like that. If I put it adjacent to Sloop, that's a... Isn't it already a... It's a lumber town, so it's now got a level 3 adjacency. That's huge. Now we've got three logs that we can turn into a fucking... Um, a saw pit. But we have nowhere to build it, really, unless we get rid of sheep. So... But we also already have sheep. We have... One wool. What can we do with wool, right? What can I make that into? A weaver. Two wool into cloth. Right, so I, need, I just need more space in Brno. However, exploration. Claim territory. Aha. Uh -huh. If I just buy that tile, then we're good. That's where I'm going to put the stone. The, uh, the fucking stone pit. Aha. Uh -huh. Prague and Brno can both get a town. Yeah. I wonder where the optimal place to build a, a new town in Prague would be. I might just build another lumber town next to the... I might build a lumber town up here. Next to the two foresters I already have. Farm improvement, region level. Let's wait and get the next upgrade for that. Okay. Aztecs want to be neutral. Sure. Oh, I just accidentally ended the turn again. Oops. Is this me? Oh, yeah. We're finally ahead of everyone. We are finally ahead of everyone. Oh, we can make our religion. Ah. We can make a religion. Trade. Okay, this is on this has unlocked a bunch of complicated things. Right. Okay. Right, things are getting complicated. We need to make a religion, we need to trade for a luxury good. Oh my god. I mean look, this is what I mean though. I mean it's good that the there's more content opening up later into the game though. That's actually a really good thing. Can't, I'm not complaining. But I need to build a fucking pasture for the sheep. So now we have two wool, which then means we can go for a fucking uh, a clothes thingy. Getting a religion will give them religious needs. Well, maybe we'll keep everyone as uh, fedora tipping atheists then. I don't know.
Uh, yeah, if I send armies up towards Cockwood, there's a lot of barbarians to kill, so that could be some fun. I mean, I've got quite a big army. I'm going to send this very good crossbowman over there too. Any spare armies I have will go up that way. And otherwise, uh, we've got a mound builder upgrade. Mound tradition level 2. Town specialization that generates sanitation. Okay. We can have mound uh, mounds adjacent to towns, but I don't really have that. Reduce the cost of expansion into grassland. That could be good, so I can put, upgrade the towns. And... Wait, what's... Oh, no, okay, okay. Oh, right, okay, okay. I didn't know about this. We've got a massive decision to make now. A very big decision. Explorers. Crusaders. Khans. I don't know what to go for. Hussite Lark for the religion, eh? Hmm. Theologians. There's a faith mana as well. Machinery, engineering. Uh, we are the first one here though. We, all the bonuses are there. I'll tell you what I don't want. I don't care for diplomacy. So I won't get any of those two. I'll rule them out. Oh, you can check out the rest of the tree as well. It's chivalry, right? Spawns two peasants at each of your vassals. What do peasants do, though? Oh. Peasants. It's a unit. So it's just like a militia unit? 150% vassal population growth. Ooh. Unlocks tapestry weaver. Converts one cloth into one tapestry for art XP, which I can do with my wool in Bernal. Ah. Uh. And a unit action that turns a peasant into a knight. A tavern takes mead, which I don't have. Spawns one settler and one knight in a capital. Oh. That goofy smile. Yeah, this is a weird uh, looking guy. Do you think he's AI generated? Some of the art looks a bit AI generated in this game. Uh, I have to say. The Spice Merchant Lassie looks a bit AI generated. They all do, to be honest. I, I don't know. I mean, if an, if an actual artist worked on these and put in loads of effort and it was just great, then I am really insulting them by saying that. Maybe assisted, yeah. If, if, if the art is just AI assisted, can you ever really find that out? Well, do they have to state that in their bio or whatever? Do you have to really know? Or can they just sort of get away with that? Let's look at the machinery tree. What does this do? Spawn an iron prospector on a friendly settlement. Uh, I don't... That's not really useful. Production from coal. I don't really have any coal. A trebuchet, though. A siege unit. The game doesn't really have any siege units up until this point, does it? That's not been a thing that is in Civ. It's uh, now explorers. If You know, I have some seas nearby. I could go exploring to other continents, found colonies and that if I want to. Um, barbarians will no longer be hostile. Ah, fuck that. I find fighting the barbarians to be entertaining content. Crusaders, uh, Knight of the Order, a special unit. Two times attack versus ranged. Religious, a lot of religion related stuff, obviously. Yeah. I don't have a religion yet. Not the olives. I haven't done anything with olives yet. The thing about the olives is you need two olives to do the next thing and I don't have two olives. I just have one in each city. Now, hold on a minute. Can I trade olives? and put one of my olives in the other city so it has two. I'm sure that's possible, right? But anyway, I was leaning towards chivalry. Uh, I'm going to go with it. I was leaning towards that and I'll go with it. Although this needs a lot of arts, doesn't it? It needs a lot of art XP. 
Tread does let you do that. So I need to go, I need to invest a lot into art stuff that gives me art. Uh, and I can, I can make a religion as well soon. Domestic export slots, yeah, yeah. If I ever want to fix the olive situation, that's what to do. But remember, I've built a fucking oven over this olive in Prague. It's a little bit awkward anyway right now. So anyway, now we get some tech. Um, oh. I mean, how should I know what the fuck to go for? Login camp? I can cut down trees? I don't know. Workshop? Um, I don't know. Guilds? Oh, there's so much, there's so much stuff. Foreign import? Arts XP? It works one arts XP, so it might actually take one. Oh my god, though, look look at the different ages you've got here, though. Age of Conquest, Age of Intolerance, Age of Discovery. Now, I feel like this game actually gets... There's a lot more stuff that it gets into later in the game. The later you go, the more shit there is, the more interesting stuff there is. Feudalism is very powerful. Okay. Large plantation. Plowed farm. This gives a lot of food. Uh, kitchen converts mead, olives, or sugar. Oh, tell you what, mate. Look, there. That is what to get. The kitchen will turn my two olives into delicacies, which is a luxury. Ah. That could be the goal. That could be the goal for the thingy. It has serious potential, yeah. It does have serious potential, but it's it's alienated a lot of players. A lot of people are just too alienated to play it, which might mean it'll never reach its potential if people abandon it. But that would be Paradox's own fault. Uh, Castle Town. Yeah, I'm going for feudalism and... Uh, back in Dresden, what are we making? Uh, I think... Oh, taxation and treaties. I think you go towards producing more of those. Brag. Upgrade to a fucking keep. That sounds cool. Uh, now it's also getting complicated at this point. It's getting a little bit overwhelming and complicated. That's also happening. There's a lot of shit to think about. But anyway, um, what was I going to do? I, I think it's very important for me to do that olive thing to give the people a luxury and stuff like that. But I'll end the turn there. Oh, I'm also seeing a lot more resources spawning. Carriage procession. The populace floods the streets of Elbion to catch a glimpse of the royal family. What do I get? The palace plus one culture. Yeah. Let's go for that. There's more olives near Prague. I don't have to export the olives and, and all that. I can just get those ones. There's now cotton near Dresden. This is tobacco. That's exp that's a luxury. Tobacco is a luxury, and that tea. Okay, interesting. All right. Yeah, we're going to get... Uh, my brain's going to get fried as we go on here. It's already getting a little bit fried. How's the pop growth doing? Bernoulli's growing in a turn and it's mostly green. Prague is good. Running out of housing a little bit. Uh, Dresden is up and coming. It's growing. It could grow faster. We uh, Maybe I should build housing. I'm going to build a dwelling here. Uh, yeah. Dwelling in Dresden. Uh, don't, I don't think it needed it, actually. It doesn't need... It, it needs more food, if anything. Oh, well. You go along here. You as well. Also, roads. There's just no roads. They're non-existent. I'm not getting any roads. It's not happening. Reduction in engineering XP. Although... 
Is there a building? Treasury. Is there a building that gives me arts? You know what, Jean? I would agree with Jean there, saying that the, the music of the game is good. That is actually true. It's got a good soundtrack. They've done that well. I'll give them that. Pioneer outposts become really important in this age since a good source of religion can also make castles. Okay. Maybe I'll make a pioneer. I'll build my northern outpost between me and Scotland. That sounds like a good goal to do as well. Victory ages. Oh, for fuck's sake, even more complication. So this is, yeah, look, looking towards winning the game, I guess. Okay, I get it. There's a lot of stuff around Corpus. Um... Shall I just give one of my cities a pop? I'm going to give... No, wait, hold on. Do I make a religion? Is it worth it? Because someone said, said religions were annoying. Oh, spawn a merchant. Increase a vassal's prosperity or generate wealth from other nations. Yeah, make a fucking va uh, a merchant. You can increase the wealth of Corpus. I don't know. Do that. Yes. Now, I asked a question and then I moved on to something else and I already forgot the question. Wait, is this a Scottish army coming to me? Yeah, it is. For fuck's sake. Um, okay, we have that to deal with. Alright. We got armies. Making religion is culture power. It's a, it's a need that you can satisfy. That's adopting another religion, not making it. How do I make one then? I never really quite noticed how to make one. Is it a culture? Yes, it's a culture ability. Yeah, because that makes the most sense. Right, got you. Right, okay. I'm going to divert this crossbowman up to the, the burn wall again. Because we have some things happening. Oh, there's a fucking barb here. Where are they coming from? Where are you actually coming from? I'll send the city guard to deal with you. We haven't had a fight for a while, so let's see how my city guard does. Oh, that's actually a really strong barb. Oh no. Okay, at least he lived, but they will probably die next turn. Rip. Unless I give you... Uh, reinforcements is a waste on that. Okay. I mean, production chain-wise, I think something I was going to do was make... Uh, I've got wool in Brno that's being wasted right now. How do I chop down trees? That's something I researched, isn't it? In this... You Am I at war with Scotland? Because they came into my fucking borders. Okay, the city guard died. I need to make a new city guard. Right now. Because of the unrest situation. And I need to make units. The merchant. What can you do? Deploy wealth. Uh, you can go do that to Corpus, like I said. Right, I've got a crossbowman, and that is a seasoned archer. Okay, go for it. Yeah, things get complicated now. I am massively under attack from fucking Scotland. For God's sake, this is where the war, the time of troubles begins. This is where it's over. Good news is that Bruno expanded, so I'm going to make that weaver out here. That's good. Oh shit. Wait, is it because I got... It's because I got pillaged that I'm losing this, right? Yeah, they pillaged my sheep. They shagged my sheep, that's what they fucking did. Um, you stay there, hold that. Bruno, you need to make some fucking units, make a spear. The enemy Scottish army is mainly consisting of what? Spears. A leader. They brought a fucking settler. 
and crossbows. What they they brought a fucking settler to the battle. All right, here we go. We got to get out of this situation. Barbs are suiciding into unhold again, or whatever it's called, unhost. That's good. That's not a problem anymore. That barb died, as they often do. And that barb suicided as well. Good. I like it when the barbs suicide. This just deals with a lot of problems. Right. Okay. I'm going to attack that cavalry now. That should be a simple fight. We killed it. Good. Good start. You join the army? Yeah. Yeah, nice. And you're also becoming a leader. A weird... A, a random woman leader, but that's fine. AI generated, probably. Who cares? Now, moving on. Old. Yeah, yeah. There are no more units. Crossbow. Shiger the Goat Eater has arrived at Brno. You know what we're really missing out on right now? Named armies as I now go into fighting a war. We're missing out on having names on the armies. We need some super chats and members to name them. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, they have uh, slightly large amounts of armies next to Prague now. Bit concerning. Now, before I send this army into battle, right, this is... This is the 20th army. This is my big army, my biggest army. I'm about to send it into a huge fight with the Scottish who are pillaging me. This army needs to be named before I do that. I need to name them. It's as simple as. So if someone dumps a super chat or becomes a channel member today, I'm going to name the army after your request or just you in general. Uh, I've got a culture tech in the meantime where I could found my religion, maybe. I could do that. I've got arts points. Oh my god, Sherry, five gifted, wow. You know, when people gift five subs on Twitch, it's good, it's good, but five memberships is a lot because memberships are just much better. So it's really good. Five memberships are almost just fantastic. Thank you so much. Five armies. So Sharon, you're going to get the 20th army and then Doomlord with your 400 huff will be this army here, which is just sort of garrisoning Stettin right now. This was a really good army that used, was used against Barbs before. Also, Stettin, I, I need to upgrade. I'm integrating Stettin, okay? Because it's got tea and tobacco. It's got a luxury. Do I build a, a plantation on the tobacco? Yeah. Right, that, right now I'm doing that. That's excellent. So yeah, thank you guys for the memberships and the, the thingy. 20th army becomes Sharon is Karen again. The recreation of this army. And Doomlord, 27th army becomes... The army of Huff. Oh, you thought I was going to name it the army of Doom? It's the army of Huff. Okay. Oh, I do have a lot of Warfare XP. I can make volunteers. Brad needs volunteers, definitely. Uh, the epic battle will start in a minute. Uh, and I'm going to make a, a leader out of the town guard. Yeah, that army's about to attack. Anything else to do in the meantime? Yes, actually, I'm going to spawn a pioneer to make an outpost. This army, the army of Huff, can go and make the outpost between me and Scotland to sort of hold them off, make a castle or something. Yeah, Hufflepuff. They need some better natural wonders. I don't know what that means, but... Right, now we're ready to do the battle, I think. Or do I make my religion? I'll do the battle first. Um, yeah, let's go in on this. And let's watch this one. Hooli. Let's see what happens. I'm on the left, they're on the right. It's 
should be well in my favor because they they have a fucking settler as one of their units. Uh, we can we can do better than a settler, surely. Oh, come on, kill the spearman! Kill the spearman! Okay, they just killed one of my guys, but I killed their. No, he's not even dead yet. This is absolute bullshit. Kill, finish off that fucking spearman! Why are you hitting the crossbows? Okay, this is retarded. <laughs> Just take down one of them, for God's sake! Finish one of them off! Oh my God! Finish one of them off! What is the point? Terrible, fucking shite! Did you say make an army? Yeah, I need to raise army with my culture tech. Yeah, a spear and a crossbow. Yeah, it must be done. As a matter of fact, I can send them in already to finish off some of that. Can I actually? No, I can't. No. You just fucking hold your ground. Ugh, I was sending this cavalry over here, but it doesn't have anything to do. I need to send it back to Prague. Uh, and this crossbow is going to continue to garrison Cockpits. You never know what might show up. Prague makes... I'm going to have to spam out spears. It only takes one turn to make them. Cavalry always focuses the lowest HP opponent. Oh, there's some, there's some deep shit to this war system. Wow. Okay, region idol, Stetten as well. Now, this is a new, a new town. It's growing in one turn because it has a lot of food. I don't know what's giving it its food, but it has a lot. Uh, it needs walls. I guess you can't make walls anymore. Um, production and engineering HP. Okay. Uh, right, now we're going to have to see what the Scots do to me. They moved both of those armies. I, I don't know what happened. Right, what happened? They attacked this army here, did a bit of damage to it, and killed one of the spearmen that was in it. That's what happened. You can join this army and now hit that. Right, big battle, big battle. We have a big advantage here. We've got. Right, we wiped out that. We murdered the settlers a little bit. One of them. Is that all? That's all we did, apparently. That's all we did. It's better than nothing. This army here. Oh, they've fucking pillaged me. Uh. This crossbow. Just go back and heal. This army. What you're going to do is just plant around here and build a fort. You are actually going to build a city guard. Okay. The merchant goes to uh, Cottbus. Yeah, yeah. Cavalry comes this way. Brave Albion soldiers holding the line against Scottish settlers. Yeah. Pano. Knight. Prague. Knight as well. I'm going to upgrade the cavalry we have. Did anything just happen? No, the, the Scottish armies came back towards Prague. Now I need to repair everything that was pillaged over here. Really. Um, what do I need? Is anything still pillaged? Yeah, this. It's just a grassland. Oh, that's a Scottish army that's still on it. Alright, kill that. That's the settler army. You want to see me kill the settlers? Once and for all? Boom. Oh, come on, it's not even dead yet. What a joke. You've got this. You kill them. That's it. No. 
Oh, I don't have the points to fix that. Fine. War crime, mate, they were invaded. They literally pillaged my fucking sheep. Those settlers were shagging my sheep. That's the that's the war crime. Wait, the Scottish the Scots have a big bloke. Who the fuck is that? A leader with a club. Uh just hold your ground. Hold your ground. We we need a we need our own leader. No wait no 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 undo that. No. I already have one. Right. That's why the undo button exists. Heal up, heal up, heal up. For what for fifteen warfare XP I can upgrade that cavalry to a knight, and I will do that. Because it's pretty cheap with the XP. Ah oh yes, the barbs are showing up here again. Yep, the death war. It was always going to happen. It was always going to happen. Again, the other, the problem that I'm having in the game again is... I think one of my crossbows died here somewhere. The, the difficulty of telling the difference between my armies and the enemy's armies. It's hard to discern between them. Just in general. Hey, now we're finishing off the settler. Look at that. Now we're finishing them. Look. Boom. The AI sends settlers into combat in this game. Oh, yeah, but the unrest in Prague is growing because I don't have a city guard right now. Uh, yeah. Icon setting for armies and the options, but I don't know if that does improve it. Okay, hold the fucking line. Hold the line. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to use the arts to give Stet in a hot line. Upgrade the sheep. I mean, fix the sheep. Yeah, now that we've um, unshagged our sheep, everything is back up and running in Brno, but it does need housing. Did they pillage any of my dwellings? I don't think so. So I just need to build a dwelling. Okay, tense stuff. Tense stuff. Any battles happening? Faith. Oh, another thing to worry about when I'm busy fighting a massive war. Hold the ground there. Right, in one more turn, I'll build that fucking fort. Uh, Dwelling. Boom. Now Bruno is going to grow properly. Nice, nice. You guard that. You guard that. Deploy prosperity. Okay. You're doing that passively. Prague will build. I can't neglect upgrades, so I'll build a keep. There needs to be better visual of what is broken and what not. Uh, yes, Aztec, you can be my friend. Now, let's build the, the, the outpost here. But we have to build it next turn. Okay, one more turn, I swear. Yeah, the Scots are back in and pillaging the absolute fuck out of me. They don't attack my armies, they just pillage. That's all they do. So I'm just going to have to hit them in a battle and see what happens. I outnumber them here. Oh, I just one hit the one shot of their leader. This is their weakest army. Yeah. Nice. They killed one of my boats, of course. But I pretty much wiped them out. That's good. Good start. Uh, you defend. And you finish them off. Nice. Now, see that there? That's what I want every battle to be. Uh, that battle happened without going into a battle view. I want every battle to be like that. I don't want the battle thing to be visible in any of them, ever. Just keep it like that, please. 
No, I, I can build a coal mine. No, I can't afford it. No, uh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. You know, what I really need to be doing is internally exporting that tobacco into Prague. How do I do that? That's currently my question, which I'm sure the experts in the chat can tell. Do I need to build a market or something? Because this is internal trading. Build market in the city. Damn, I knew it. Uh, why have I got cavalry here? Did I build it? Hmm. I don't know, send them this way. Needs marketplace buildings to unlock export and import slots. Does it need to be in both cities? Really? Oh, it needs to be region level two. Fuck. What does that... How do I do that? Um, explore continent with that calf. Okay, fair point. But no, not now. Does Prague itself have a market? It, it does. But where are those slots? Where do you see them? Region level increase of the population of buildings. I mean, this one should really go region level too soon. Town will. Oh, you want me to build a town? I need a culture for that. In 50 turns. I'm, I'm low on culture. That's my problem. I don't. I don't have culture going on. I don't have culture. Any buildings here that generate culture for me? Government XP, knowledge. Plaza is arts, aqueduct, sanitation, civic monument, influence, granary, keep, warfare XP. Mounds. Okay, the fucking mounds. Alright. I'm going to build the mound. Instetted. Okay? Yeah. You've got your mound. It's not going to do much. It's going to generate a bit of culture. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Fucking mounds, right? I'm busy trying to sort out all these complicated supply chains. I'm busy trying to set up all sorts of shit. And you want me to build a fucking mound? What do I actually build in Stetten, though? Like in terms of a building? I don't know. Uh... I like the idea of building a lookout because it is a border town, not north. And it gives me one vision. Okay, what have they done? Chaos Rebellion. Oh. It's... Okay, this is a typical Paradox game fashion where when things start to go bad, they always compound and add a bunch of bad shit out of nowhere on top of it. So, where are the rebels anyway? I don't see them. Oh, they're all in Cottbus, are they? Okay. Alright. See that cavalry I was sending away? You can come back. Just fucking attack me. Wait, what kind of units are these? Rebels 4. What does that mean? Rebels 4. They seem reasonably strong. They're certainly killing that cavalry. Better just defend. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Backseat, backseat, backseat. Back, back, backseat. Blah, 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 backseat. Can I undo that? Yeah, I can undo that. Yeah. Cool. And then just hold the ground there. Right. Um, so, moving on. They are now defending. Uh, now. The peasants four. <laughs> As if the first three weren't bad enough. These idiots are just going around pillaging everything. They're fucking cowardly cunts. Right, finally, we're building an outpost. Finally, we have it. Uh, so, yeah, 
Can I build it into a castle? How do, how do you get that? 40 engineering XP. Hey, we aren't even far off that. And you know what that also gives me? I believe it gives me culture. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with that army. Though. I'm going to send them north. I'm going to take the fight to Scotland. I'm going to pillage them a bit. But no, again, well... Uh, you know, it can have... Uh, fucking... Town centre, just a little bit more government XP can't go wrong. Rebels 4 sounds like a Star Wars spin-off movie is what it sounds like. But no rebelling. Town got okay, alright. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I've got units in the city though. Population number of regions enemy units. Okay. Right. Well, uh... Oh, nothing. There's nothing much I can do other than try and kill the enemy units. Hit them. Watch me headshot the leader again. Oh, I don't have crossbows. This is just a spear on me. Okay. Thought if I had a crossbow, I would have headshot a drug there. Can we finish off Grug? Yes. He's shattered and retreating. But I think that was a good battle for me. I can actually sort of, I can finish that stack off with this, right? Finish off Grug. Yeah, finish that guy. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Knock out the, yes. Now, can I put the units back in the fucking city though? Uh. Right. Region level two, please. I really need that. Uh, mm, is there an upgrade I can get? Which public quarters? On this puts on rest down, gives me housing, and generates wealth. Public quarters. That's pretty good. Oh no, actually, it doesn't do that. It doesn't. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. No, 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 no. That's wrong. Public quarters actually increases unrest. Okay. Good evening. Seems the slop is going fine considering the length of this video. It's a stream, but yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm enjoying this game. That's a, it's as simple as that, really. I'm just enjoying it, so I'm playing it a lot. Now, what's going on here? Well, the rebels have suicided into that a bit, so I'm going to finish them off. Good. Oh, I have this army here as well. Just... I have to start hitting that. This might be a bit of a bad battle for me. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Well, none of them died at least. Okay, good. I'm going to give them reinforcements. So that none of them die in a counter-attack. Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Now... Anything that gives me culture? We're lacking sanitation, so I'm building an aqueduct. Good. Right. We're just going to end the turn now and see what happens next. By the way, support the channel with a super chat and join the membership. Is Bernal going to shit? Is it revolting? What are these green arrows? What does that mean? Oh, what did I just do? What did I just do? Don't do that. What am I clicking on right now? What happened? Uh, Bernal rebels will attack in two turns. We'll sort that. Upgraded. Upgraded what? Is it my tech? Making it produce an extra good. Oh, I really need to work out what that should be. So, professional army. What do I need the most to upgrade, basically? Oh. 
because if I really wanted to be optimal, I would think about that and think about what I need. If I just upgrade this tobacco and produce an extra luxury so I can send it to more places, that's probably simply quite good. Two tobacco. I, I, I would settle on that. I would settle on that. It's not like I have a desperate need of farms everywhere. We're fine. Uh, we're nearly finished killing the Scots here, I hate to say. That stack is going in Berno to sort the unrest situation. You're following up on this. We're attacking across a river, which is not visible in the battle. Join that army. Oh, I can't. No, I just hold your ground there. So what are the armies? We have the army of Huff. I think Sharon is Karen died again. Where where did that army go? I uh, I honestly don't remember it dying. I'm just going to rename the 20th army back to it. I don't think it legitimately died that time. I'm going to give it back to you. I'm not going to make you have to give another super chat for it this time, okay? Uh, is unrest going down now? Yeah, unrest is going back down. We saved it. Now I need to undo the uh, the horror, the horrible war crimes that they committed on me. There is a Scottish crossbow. Fucking kill him. One hit, killed. Ah, ah. Castle! Ah! Based! Now we're talking. I got 20 culture for that. I think. Good stuff. Yep. Very nice, very nice. What does a bribe do? Use on an unaffiliated army to disband them? It's, it doesn't give me them. Are there any neutral cities I can make into a vassal nearby? No. You need to use improvement points at your outpost, by the way. What? What do you mean? We can name the outpost, by the way. Any got anyone got any name suggestions? But what do you mean use improvement points? Oh, you mean I can improve shit in here? Is that what you're saying? Can I improve the, the fucking grapes? Big if true. Wow, that's pretty cool. But no is idle again. So you are actually I need to start making improvement points on that. You can't with the castle. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, there was another Scottish army there. What happened? Uh, I can do a bit of scouting with them though. Am I winning? I think once again I got confused with the army stack names and flags. Wait, I can do another upgrade. Where is this coming from? Where is that coming from anyway? It's Outpost is for resources, castles for defence. Okay. Thanks. Fix the pillaging. Uh, Bruno is back up and running. And did I already build an oven? Ah, oh, the forest there. Ah, the oven is destroyed. Wait, I don't have any upgrades right now. I lost it. It was improvement points. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Half the time. We're certainly lacking sanitation here, but we have the aqueduct in one turn. Uh, you need to heal. We are going to pillage the shit out of Scotland in return for what they've done against me. Hopefully. Um, you stay there. Independence for Albion Confederation. 
The, ungo the ongoing unrest is out of control? Is it? Is it really? The region will declare independence and cease to be put. What? I thought we fucking saved it. We did. I sorted this. The unrest went down. That's bullshit. Oh, that's complete bullshit. Like I garrisoned a massive army in it and everything. That's bullshit. Utter bullshit. Well, am I not even at war with them anymore? Come on. That's fucking horse shit. The fact that that happened, right? We were we had our backs up against the fucking wall holding up a massive Scottish invasion. I I built multiple things to improve the fucking I I've just fucking fixed the pillages that they did. And then they just rebel. Come on. Unrest was through the roof. Well, no shit. I just turned it around. I fucking turned the unrest around at the last second. It was going up. It was fucking going up. Terrible. Terrible. Oh, fuck me. When is what are Prague's borders going to grow anyway? I need that. And when is this region level going to increase? When is anything going to fucking happen? So I think just a fucking farm. Can I build a farm? Why can't I build a farm? What happened? Guys, what happened to farms? I don't have farms anymore. I mean, I can build a hunting camp for food. But no took all our farms. I can't make farms anymore, apparently. Hmm. Settler. I don't, I don't need to manage that shit right now. Trash improvements provide additional sanitation. I don't think I have any trash improvements. And, the, you know, the worst thing of all is I'm not even at war with them to immediately crush this shit. Bullshit. I mean, I'll try and fucking deal with it. What's that? An explorer? Dora the Explorer out here. But I don't care. All I want to do is burn their mounds. Because that, apparently that's the most important thing in this game. All they care about is mounds. Uh, there's no diplomatic thing I can do to this. Maybe we could... I think I'll call the stream here at our darkest hour. But I will come back to this. Maybe later in the week, maybe not. But in any case, Bavaria Part 22 is coming on Friday. That's nice. I'll call it there. It's a cliffhanger. It's a cliffhanger. Any more channel memberships or super chats to come in? I can still name an army after you before I go. And I do have Army of Huff and Sharon is Karen still there. It was a good stream. I had fun with Millennia. It, it's, uh, I've said everything I need to say about it already so far, though. I've said everything. I, I did better than last time, and the game is still absolutely fucking me over. Just fucking me over so much. I turned the unrest in Bruno around. I really did. Is it fun though? Yeah. Anyway. Oh. So. Seems very unforgiving. It is. And it's complicated as well. With all the, the mana points you've got. Seriously. So much fucking mana points going on. You've got to manage all of these. All of them. All, all the XP. How good is it compared to base Civ 6? Oh, I don't know. This game might be better than base Civ 6, actually. Maybe next time the Army of Hull will come through the Annals of History again. I might give another super chat for the, ne the next Millennia stream. Alright. When I come back to this, we'll, we'll see if we can get the Army of Hull back. 
and we can take the fight to Scotland with them. Actually, which army is it? Well, it's the army of Huff that's pillaging Scotland right now. I wouldn't name that. Problem for me remains the price tag. True. This game, in order to get the goodwill from the community, it needs to do a bunch of uh, free updates. They need to add multiplayer for free, they need to drastically improve the customization for free, they need to add keybinds for free, they need to let you turn the battle screen off for free. They, they should do a load of free things before they even talk about their first DLC, which unfortunately is already announced. But yeah, the problems with it are Paradox's fault, I'm willing to say. The good elements of it, i.e. the actual mechanics of the game, are the company, Seaprompt Games, doing pretty well. But Paradox publishing them has caused their problems. Yeah, they should put it on sale as well, pretty soon, yeah. But uh, there's no way that this game could have made a profit, considering how much marketing money they put in. The player count, which was about 8k on launch, indicates the sales were some kind of multiple, a multiple, multiple of that. And it was pretty low. Pretty low. Low player count and low therefore sales as well so and that doesn't justify like the marketing campaign they put into this was on the scale of the actual full-on paradox releases yet this game is much lower than them in everything so it can't have been a profit so but the game is solid it, you know it deserves a bit of recognition for its good mechanics and all that but Anyway, that was an exhausting what, four hours of that, so we'll call it. Thank you so much, everyone, for the great uh, engagement. I had a lot of fun talking to you and playing with you. Thank you for the super chats and memberships. I will see you. If I'm going to do this again this week, it'll be on Thursday. Uh, Friday will definitely be Bavaria Part 22. And then Scandinavia campaigns will return on Sunday, of course. I might do this on Saturday. I don't know. We'll see. See you, everyone. Thank you so much. And have a good rest of your weeks, everyone. Thank you. Oh, Gene got a, a, a membership gifted. You'll love to see it. All right. Bye, everyone.